to the ground now and somehow i feel like you don't know me shook me to the ground now i don't even know how brought me to a life that you never showed me All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say hello, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Glad you're here with us. Uh, thank you for the follow already. I rally I. Glad you're here. Hope you're doing very well today. Hope everyone has had a good weekend. It is probably Sunday evening where you are. Hopefully, you're feeling ready for some relaxation, some enjoyment. Here it is Monday morning. I'm up and ready. Gotta go teach eventually, but before then we can hang out for a few hours and enjoy some uh, some brand new game. A game that was mentioned to me in passing on, I think Friday or Saturday, and I pulled it up and said, oh wow, I wanna play this one right away. Uh, so often I get recommendations for games, but I said, ah, I'll get to that in a few weeks here, maybe in a month or two. This one, immediately. So I'm very excited to play it, excited to see how it goes, and I hope it's a good time. Uh, hello to you. I almost said hi to myself. Hello, Resorty. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Good seeing you. Axix, welcome in. Axix, thank you for being willing to, uh, yeah, to become a, uh, a mod for, uh, for the channel. Thank you for being part of the community for such a long time, and I hope your modding experience goes very, very well. Uh, hello to you, HPG. Hi, Quick Ben. Hello, Wizards. Marks, what's going on? Hello, Thorn. Uh, did I get a key from the publisher or developer? I did not. Nope, I bought this one free and clear. Um, didn't even think to reach out and ask if uh, if I could do so. Because uh, I wanted to play the game right away. And I know if I reached out and asked for a key, then maybe they'd uh, take a while on that. Excuse me. Um, phone app works. Yeah, I've heard from a few people over on the Discord that for whatever reason, Twitch is acting a little bit twitchy right now. That some people are having trouble staying connected. Some people can't watch the uh, the show right now, but that's too bad, especially on a Sunday evening when so many of us just want to hang out and relax. I'm glad those of you who are here are here, but you know what's unfortunate, not everyone can be right now. Hello, Gelly. It's good seeing you. Hello, Core Traption. What's up? What's good? Scuff. Hello, Scuff. Do I need to change the name of the uh, the stream? It's called Small Furry Base Building. Uh, Small Furry Base Building uh, is definitely what I was referring to is back in, in undergrad, I had a political philosophy professor who was convinced that all of civilization was a sham. And so when he wanted to talk about human nature, he'd say, I am just a small furry creature trying to survive with other small furry creatures. <laughs> and so it's an homage to him, uh, I used that title. If it's gonna get some weird attention though, I'm okay changing around to uh, a different title. But yeah, we're playing as little rats today. Little rats with their little houses and so on. Uh, what, rats are rodents? Rats are mammals? We could change those names, possibly. Hello, old beer, how's it going? Mountain Dew, welcome back. Hello, miss. Miss, you want to be a, uh, oh, you want to be a uh, mod someday. I'll get right on that, miss. You're next in line for the mods, I promise. What's up, old beard? Hello, Fernanthus. Hello, Sir Wales. Vidar, welcome. Ah, good call. Those of you who are having trouble connecting to the stream, and I realize if you're having trouble, you can't hear this, but if you're having trouble connecting to the stream, YouTube is always the way to go. Yeah, the YouTube channel's up and running. You can't talk there, but you can see lovely old me doing my lovely old me things for sure. Hello, Chaos. You prefer non-sponsored or free key streams anyway? Not here to be advertised to. <laughs> I mean, legit. Of course, legit. Um, I don't know. Uh, the only kind of advertisement streams I'll take are ones where I'm not bound to what I'm going to say. So if someone says you have to play our game and say really nice things about it, even if you're, even if you're having a horrible time, I won't do that. Uh, if instead they say, um, you know, if they say like, here, here's our game, play it. If you don't like it, don't play it. Don't say you don't uh, like it. It's, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, in part because the financial incentive to uh, put the games out, there's often substantial, <laughs> but, but no, I never attempt to uh, like just be a flim flam man who will say, come on, play this game and give me money. That's not how this channel works, but 
Yeah, this one, I bought it myself because I thought it looked cool. That's that. Hello, Steve. Good seeing you. Hello, Harsani. You heard this reminds you of Oni. Yeah, just from initial initial glance at the screen, uh, it is the case that this game looks very Oni-like. I hope it is, even if it's not nearly as deep and complex as Oxygen Not Included. Uh, I hope it, it's at least a charming in the same way. Uh, yesterday, I had an opportunity to write a review of Auction Not Included. I've been going through my backlog of games I've played and enjoyed and wrote a review of Auction Not Included. And boy, howdy, that is a game that is hard to review well uh, because on the one hand, it is very, very easy. <laughs> you know, the, the new player is, is brought into it and seduced by how adorable it is, seduced by how, how fun it is to click and see things happen. And at some point, the difficulty just spikes crazily. And so uh, it's a great game. Uh, I sure do hope this one is even half the game that Oni is because, uh, as I said in the review, I think Oni is probably one of the greatest base builders ever made uh, in so very many ways. If this one's at least a fun time, I'll be happy with that. Hello, Windsor. Hello, Sundog. I believe everyone got their hello. If I didn't say hello to you, hello in general. Hope things are good for you. As I said, as I said, it is Monday morning, Monday morning here, and so it's been an exciting weekend of so much grading. Friday was a uh, exam day. I want to give the exams back by this next Friday, and so I'm knocking out my my eight and a half exams per day to get them all done by by Thursday night. And so far, we're on the uh, on the schedule. Uh, yesterday, Noms and I went and spent some time at a coffee shop, and. Uh, Enjoyed a, a little bit of coffee and some baked goods and then got down to work for a couple hours. Uh, that said, when we went in, uh, we noticed the majority of the tables were already taken, except this one table that was in the sunlight. And we thought there's no possible way that the sun's going to get too hot for comfort, too hot to work well. And then let me tell you this, let me tell you this, it got real <laughs> real fast. And so we ended up working there for a while and then moving along because, uh, man, the sun sure is a, a cruel, cruel beast at times. Speaking of cruelty, my uh, piano music has just stopped. It played that last music and then said no more, no more. So I did that restarted or else I'm going to be speaking to the, uh, the void here. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, yesterday the baked goods were quite good. We had a, a lemon cardamom roll. I don't like cardamom as a, uh, a flavor that, that much. It's like the main flavor in something. It's good as a, a subtle flavor in Indian cooking, but Noms loved it immensely. So we split that one, and then we had a sugar-encrusted waffle, <laughs> which <laughs> sounds decadent because, gosh, it is decadent. And it was, it was very tasty and very good. And what is the name of my... What is the name of my, um, my program that plays music? Pretzel. What a strange name. Why can't you be called, like, Piano Music Machine or something of that sort? So strange, so strange. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I can't think of good things about that uh, sugar-encrusted waffle. Uh, I very much have been wishing for uh, pancake morning recently. Uh, occasionally on weekends when we hang out a little bit longer, uh, we will have a nice pancake morning. But uh, this weekend, Nambla is supposed to go to yoga uh, I was going to come on stream and do a couple hours of just uh, just crossword puzzles, but now I'm decided to stay in bed, stay asleep, and uh, it was nice. It was nice to hang out and relax, but my apologies for no stream yesterday because of that, and that'll be okay. Anyway, music should return there. Um, other than that, I guess the one topic to discuss is uh, the Saturday late night football match. Watched a little bit of the, uh, yeah, watched a little bit about the old. Uh, old Wrexham football team. It was, it was bad. <laughs> it was not a fun match to watch. Uh, many of you know I'm happy just watching football. Uh, regardless my team wins or loses, it's a, a lovely thing to watch the passing, to watch the athleticism, etc. Um, this is a game that's often referred to as anti-football, right? Anti-football, uh, in which there's instead... Um, just like the constant attempt to stop ball progress. And so one team was playing profoundly defensively and um, the ball spent almost all the time in the air. You know, the head tennis game of back and forth, that it just wasn't nice to watch. And so Wrexham ended up losing by two in what is probably the worst game I've ever seen them play. Um, but yeah, I stayed up until 2.30 a.m. And at the end of it said, well, that was a night. <laughs> so... <laughs> Hopefully next weekend's better. Uh, even if we lose, I just wanted to watch an attractive game. Uh, it makes me feel good about having stayed up at night and 
and watch this thing happening so far away. But there's how it goes. That's how it goes. A uh, good for her. Yeah, I'm very glad that Nam decided to take a little bit of time for herself and not go do one more thing, one more thing. Uh, Nam's always wants to maximize efficiency, uh, get everything possible packed into a day or a week or otherwise. And uh, you know, yoga is part of that. It's the one more thing to do. And so I'm glad she decided to just hang out at home for a while and we had a, a nice relaxing morning anyway. I'm saying I've got so much grading to do, but I should stream a few hours of crossword puzzles. I mean, <laughs> because I give myself a week or so to, um, yeah, to, to do all the grading, um, as long as I get a, uh, eight or so done every single day, I'm fine at the end. So, yeah, I mean, usually on Sunday mornings, I read a book, I have some coffee, I hang out. I thought it'd be nice instead to come spend some time with you all. Once a very, very long time ago, like six years ago, I did a grading stream. I covered every student's name, a little post-it note, and uh, went through and talked through how I grade papers. And it was a really fun time at one level, uh, but also a little bit tiring, because man, it's already like mentally stressful enough to grade papers. It's quite something else when people are evaluating how you grade papers. <laughs> so, uh, probably not again. Probably not again. Hey, pretty pictures. Welcome back. Uh, sorry if you've covered it. What happened with the student with lost notes? Yeah, pretty. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, last week we had a student who lost his notebook entirely. And uh, he came to me and we talked for a bit. And it was not a good conversation. Because uh, he said he would prepare some questions. And the questions he prepared were largely of the form, um, so tell me everything about, so what was the main point of, right, not good at all, but in class I asked the other students, would anyone uh, mind sharing your notebook with this fellow? And uh, so I took some pictures of it and gave it back to the other uh, students. And, uh, and yeah, he did okay, I think. I haven't graded his exam yet, but he said he felt much more confident about it than had he not had any notes at all. So hopefully it works out okay. But uh, he promised to me, promised to me, pinky swear promise, that he would never lose his notebook again. And gosh, I hope that's true. Uh, fair enough, you definitely pass on watching a grading stream. Yeah, my sense is that people who are not instructors uh, find the activity of grading much more interesting than those who do so. Um, those who do the grading themselves, because it really is one of these like behind the scenes activities. I think most of us have been students and we've turned in papers and gotten papers back and we never quite know what happens behind the curtain. Um, and so I was glad to show that to someone. I was glad to show someone like how I think about these things, how I, uh, you know, try to balance out the various things I want to write. Uh, like part of me often says, oh, how could you miss that? It was so obvious. Bah! But I never write this, of course, right? Instead, try to think through what's the most useful and interesting thing to say right here that will help the student in their growth and development as a human. And so hearing myself talk through that with folks, I think was valuable. But five years ago, never again, never again, for sure. Um, I think that might be the whole weekend. Hello, Klaus. Good seeing you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I ho hope, uh, hope weekend was good for everybody. Anyone do anything fun? Anything, uh... Over the moon exciting. I know it's kind of cold where many of you are. It's kind of cold here also. I gotta say we've reached the point of the uh, of the winter or late fall now where walking home from the gym is profoundly unpleasant <laughs> because I am sweating. I am sweating. I am hot, and I step outside, and it doesn't turn to icicles immediately, uh, but it does become I don't know, just like uh, chilly, I guess, a little chilly. And so there is a shower at the gym, right? I could shower there and change into some different clothes. But I only live about four or five blocks away from my gym. And so it feels absolutely ridiculous to shower there and just walk home. So I don't know. Uh, I know some people will bring along large towels to dry themselves fully. Some people bring along like a sweatsuit to put on after, um, yeah, sweatsuit suit to put on after the workout to get home without freezing. I'll figure out for sure. Um, definitely every gym I've gone to previously, back in the US, I've had uh, oh, had a car, right? It's so easy to just hop in the car and get warm and zoom home. Here, no such luck. So we'll figure it out though. Uh, hello, other Klaus. Uh, first Klaus, or second, hello, Klaus number one, Klaus number two. One of you graduates in two weeks. I hope that goes very, very well. I hope you're able to. Uh, yeah, hope you're able to enjoy these last few weeks of being a student. Hopefully you're getting some good stuff out of it. Uh, I know back when I was graduating, both from high school and from college, 
I had this overwhelming desire for the next thing, right? To be done with this phase. Ma! And now I look back and say, man, I could have made a little bit more out of that, or I could have more fully appreciated what I was going through at the time. So today in old man advice, don't rush through the next two weeks. Have a good time, but congratulations in advance on graduating. That's so, so cool. So, so cool. Other Klaus, just got back from being on a panel about the importance of local news media. Awesome, Klaus. <clears throat> I know as a journalist, part of your job is not just to, uh, to research and write the stories, but also to show the value of the work you do. I hope that went well. I hope that went well, uh, because I know that there are, uh, I, know, I know there are powers that beat today uh, that are more and more corporatizing, more and more news. And so a large portion of uh, local newspapers and radio stations and so on just shut down, uh, being replaced by, uh, you know, national media institutions instead. Uh, but yeah, as someone who's lived in a smaller town, it's so important to have um, a focus on what is happening locally, as opposed to just, here are the international and national stories, you don't matter, right, this kind of thing. It's, it's disempowering and frustrating and so on. So, hope it went well, hopefully you enjoyed being on that, uh, that panel. It's been a while since I've been on an in-person panel, I hope I remember how to do it and don't immediately turn into resorty. <laughs> this is always the danger. <laughs> if I don't remember how to give a particular presentation, resorty shows up and he starts going and hopefully it works out. Hello, Fleabum. Hello, Finbar. Uh, since I'm working from the gym, could I keep warm walking home by using that exercise as well? Um, so, 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 so. Yes, I do walk home. Uh, I do walk home and I'm relatively warm from the gym. Um, there are two issues, though. Uh, one of the issues is that there are multiple mm, street crossings that require waiting at the light. And while it is possible to ignore the light, say you're just a sign you can't stop me, uh, that could get me in trouble with the law, and I don't want that. Uh, the second issue is, how do I put this? Um, there's not a huge running culture in Tokyo. Um, and the, where there are lots of runners, they tend to go to parks and other areas that aren't major streets. Furthermore, I am kind of large and stand out. <laughs> so if I were just to run, 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 run home, uh, I expect I might intimidate, scare, or confuse some of the adorable old Japanese people. And so... Uh, I think I'm not going to run home. And this is, again, probably me worrying more than necessary, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with worrying a bit more on that one. But thank you for the advice anyway. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We, uh, we'll continue along here uh, going into the, the true winter. It'll be fine. Just one more thing to complain about. Hey, Freak, good seeing you. You're absolutely right. Yeah, upsetting the locals, one shouldn't do. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I think that's all I got. I think that's all I got. I'm sure there's something else happened on the weekend that I want to share with you later. Um, I've tried to do at least one review of a new Steam game every day. Uh, when I say new, I mean ones I've played. Um, because I'm trying to get my uh, Steam curator page up and going. And I don't know why. Like, I don't get anything for having this, like, Steam review page. I think it's just something is changing inside of me where I'm wanting to be writing again, and uh, it's been a nice place to go do some writing. So thank you to those of you who've been checking out the uh, reviews, or at least up them. I do appreciate it a whole bunch, and I'll be uh, continuing to do that most days. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, yeah, just kind of enjoy putting my ideas out there. And like I said before, I've been reviewing games that are well-known, so it's a strange thing going and saying, ah, let me review Auction Not Included. This game has 120,000 reviews, and one. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I know it's not being earth reshaping. Uh, hopefully we play more small games, like the one we're doing today. Uh, my reviews will be more useful for folks, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let me grab a tie, let me grab a jacket, and then we'll uh, go ahead and get the stream started. You can review dot 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 DLC. You can, Thorn. You absolutely can review DLC. Um, I did review Legacy of Persia, uh, day before yesterday, I think. I've been told that, uh, DLC reviews are not super useful, in part because everyone hates DLC. <laughs> for, for Paradox especially. Uh, if you say anything other than DLC bad, uh, you'll definitely get people saying, you're a bit of a clown. Oh, actually, I learned this recently. I learned recently that, um, various, um, readers on Steam can leave emote reactions to people's reviews. 
uh, things like uh, heart, this was very good, or big brain, it was smart, etc. Apparently, there are two of the um, two of the emotes that I took to mean one thing, and they're often used in a different way. Number one, the happy laughing clown. I took to be resorty. You're funny. You said some funny words here. I laughed. And unfortunately, uh, what it actually means is, you are a clown. You say dumb things. <laughs> and then the other one is this, like, comfy little fellow in a blanket. And I was like, oh, maybe my words are so, warming, uh, uh, so warm and comforting that you feel like you've been blanketed in my ideas. Which is, you know, nice, nice. No, I found out what it actually means is, uh, resorty, you are... <laughs> <laughs> you live in a, a soft, bubble-wrapped world in which you are uh, you're, you're going to be harmed by the real world. What naivete. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm proud to go back to believing they mean the other thing for my, uh, yeah, for my uh, uh, mental health, but that's how it goes. I'm not going to read into these things, I promise. Hey, Smitchy the Kid, my friend. Thank you for the six months subscribing. Smitchy, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. Gaming coming very, very soon, but thank you so much. Hello, Cyber Oracle. Cyber Oracle, thank you also for being willing to take up the blade of moderating the channel. Uh, friends, we have two new mods uh, started yesterday or so. Uh, Axic and Cyber Oracle, uh, folks who wanted to be mods in some sense, but have also been part of the community forever and always. Uh, in a little bit here, in a few days, we're gonna start some Reddit advertisements. And that might cause the place to fall apart, but Cyber Oracle and Axix should keep it in line. I hope, I hope. Uh, yesterday on, on uh, Discord, I put up some ad copy, some ideas of things I'm going to say over on Reddit. Uh, the big effort right now is coming up with a good title. Because uh, on stream a couple weeks ago, we talked about possible titles. And someone had the fine suggestion, uh, why not come guess what I teach? which is an invitation to come do something, a call for action. Uh, but some viewers rightly said it might come off as being a little aggressive or inviting trolling, and so we're not going to do that. Um, Fernandez had the hilarious idea of top 10 CK3 mistakes every day on stream, <laughs> which is very good, except for the part where um, I play other games as well. So we'll figure it out. If you have any ideas, let me know. Uh, the kind of thing that make you want to say, hmm, I will click on this advertisement. I click on no other advertisements, but this one, this one I will click on. <sighs> All right, all right, all right. Hello, Thor. Nice tie. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hello, fighting. It's good seeing you. And Smitchy, my day's been pretty good, too. Uh, just getting started. Just getting started. All right, come here. We have cookies. I don't want to be deceptive. I don't want to promise cookies and then deliver nothing. Oh, I could say, though, I'm sure that Twitch left some cookies on your computer. Ha ha, got them. <laughs> I would do it for sure. All right, friends, the uh, first ad break is coming in just a moment here. We're going to do three minutes of crossword puzzle. On the other side of that, we'll start our game. I promise, I promise, I promise. So, um, there is no new crossword puzzle today. This is a Sunday in the U.S., so we'll be working on an old -er one instead. <sighs> Once again, my little machine here is captured in the wrong window. There we go. All better. Okay, so um, we have a whole pile here of old crosswords to try to finish. This one's from Wednesday of last week. We should be able to finish it fairly quickly. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, grand residences in Rome or Florence. So Italian something. Do they have villas possibly? I think that's not a spell, uh, fin uh, fill it. fit, is it? Probably not. What's the down? Uh, sitting bulls people. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know that one. Uh, 2,000 pounds is one ton. Uh, Whittily Ridicule. Whittily Ridicule. It's be something very specific, like a word like mock is too general. Uh, innies and Audis are one's navels. Anyone know what portion of people have the Audi? Because I think that the Innie versus Audi belly button is based on um, how one's umbilical cord is cut, but... I think most people are innies, and only some are outies. Not sure if that's true, though. Uh, roster vacancy. Uh, possibly an open slot, open room, something like that. 
the Real Housewives Atlanta cast member Witchfield. I have genuinely no idea. What's the down, though? Plot blank. A part of a story that does not add up or uh, does not hold up. A plot hole. Okay. And then lastly, thick is dense. So, Sherry. Sherry, maybe. Cool. Uh, generosity. Not sure. Let's do some downs, though. Uh, seconds. Seconds. Some more. <laughs> like, I want some more food. And Mami Wata is the African water spirit. Let's remember that one. Cat. Lawn trimming tool. A weed edger? Maybe. A faux pas. Opposite of fine for sandpaper. I know the word grit is used to refer to, like, how dense the rough part is or something. I'm not sure. Uh, tugs open like a fleece. Tugs open? Huh. I mean, unzips possibly. Might be unzips. That would fit, so I guess thou might be wrong. Uh, singers who ranges are lower than sopranos and higher than contra altos. Um, I guess it's just tenors. Good. Blink Family Foods, a tortilla brand started by a family of seven. So, uh, seven in Spanish is siete? Is that right? <laughs> uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis? Wait, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete? Maybe? Okay. Uh, suffix for duck or earth. Um, d duck, a duck's back. Uh, duck call, earth call, no. Uh, duck, duck goose. Uh, note of fa, do, re, mi, fa, sol. Ah, uh, film that shows where not to swim. Oh, film in the sense of um, um, like an algae layer as opposed to a movie film. Pond scum it is. So that means tenors is wrong. The mezzos instead, I believe. Maybe. Cat. A formal alternative to your ones. <laughs> uh, grand residence is in Rome or Florence. I do not know this word at all, unfortunately. Uh, wittily ridicule. Probably satirize. So weird edger might be wrong. Uh, A for satirize, I believe. Uh oh. Satirize. E, I th uh, a, I think A might be right. Uh, roster vacancy is an open spot. Uh, generosity is largesse. Good. Weave eater. There we go. Uh, hello to you, CG Core. Welcome. Yeah. Hunk something. Huh. All right. Course is the opposite of fine. So either duck or earth. Duck. Tails, woohoo. Duck something, earth something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, as if it's, a, it's an I? Oh, I looks better. Duck ring, duck bing, duck ding. <laughs> I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Um, is it Palazzi, possibly? A duckling, earthling. Hey, we got it. Hey, we got it. Okay, we're good, we're good. I was trying to make not a suffix, but instead an independent word. A duckling, like a baby duck, or earthling, like a person from Earth. Oh, boy, howdy. I had a brief moment of real issues there. So this is the one I should know. The Hunk Papa are sitting both people. Hunk Papa. Oh, I'll try to remember that one, but rough, rough, rough. Uh, Gore, or sorry, Core, you're trying to make space on your SSD to install Baldur's Gate. What will you uninstall first? Always the issue. Yeah, I'm getting closer and closer to out of space on my solid state drive. And uh, over on the Discord, we've been discussing uh, different possible upgrades to my computer. There's been one big discussion that maybe I should upgrade the old, um, uh, upgrade the old, uh, Hard drive. Maybe, maybe. The Hunk Pop are part of Lakota. Uh, Plasma, I do know the Lakota. Um, one of my 
graduate school professor's um, grandfather was a major um, investigator of Lakota people. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty cool stuff that he would be able to teach us quite a bit about Lakota tradition and, and uh, myth and so on. Pretty cool stuff. All right, Hunk Papa, though. Hello to you, Nada. Good seeing you, my friends. My friend? My friend. All right, friends, welcome to Ratopia, the game we're trying today. And I think it has fairly good reviews, so hopefully it's a whole bunch of fun. Uh, first thing to say is this game is made by the people who made Ratropolis. And I guarantee that all stream long, I'm going to misremember what the game is called. Um, Retropolis is a game that is base building with cards. If you've not played it, it's kind of a tower defense game in which uh, enemies come marching from the outside and you quickly throw up buildings and soldiers and all the rest and the rat people trying their best. Uh, apparently this game is the second iteration from the same devs. Hope it's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, give me one second to pull up game options and see if I change anything for your better viewing pleasure. Um, controller vibration. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully it's not controller preferred. I still don't have one, of them, unfortunately. All looks pretty standard here. Hello to you, Fierce. Um, moving and such. Language. <gasps> the Nihongo. Um, achievements. Maybe someday. All right. Let's see what we learn now. So, we can choose a leader, a settlement, and a difficulty. There's a tutorial. We are playing the tutorial. So, of the leaders, do they have different... Um, oh, you can make your own. So, I thought we'd be choosing um, from pre-described characters. But no. Ah, uh, what should we name our character? Any suggestions? And look at all the hair. Oh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time making my own character. It's going to end up being immediately dead. <laughs> All right. You can be a... Oh, this is where it differs. This is where it differs is a prestigious scholar gives more experience, more research. Natural born warrior, more attack power and health. Agile explorer, faster movement, more capacity. The city's idol. Oh, or a pop singer. Or lastly, a prodigal noble has so much money. How are you possibly prodigal with that much money? Isn't prodigality meaning you spend everything? I think it might be true. Let's go with pure warrior. All right. How do you order this tiara? I like that very much. Uh, Rat Zordy seems like the most popular name. Let's go ahead and do that one. Um, all right. As far as clothes goes, what kind of armor would one like? I like the red armor, I think. Fur color, the white, the gray, the brown. Gotta unlock the plagued fur. Let's go with the, uh, the plain old gray for now. And uh, I think that might be that. Now, not to uh, normally gender my folks here, but I'm surprised there's no clear slider between uh, wearing dresses and wearing pants. Um, that's fine, that's fine. But I might be missing a button to change back and forth. Anyway, that's our character. Then, where should we go? Oh, we can pick everything. Ratopia has an emblem. So many possibilities. Um, we're warrior types. We'll choose the cross sword. And I like the color red very much. So background there that needs to be something else. Um, possibly like a solid black. That changed nothing. <laughs> Possibly all black. There we go. There are a lot of possible colors. That looks good though. And then on the outside edge, we'll go with the red also. That's not the outside edge. Is this one? Hey, there we go. There we go. All right. What a great kingdom we're gonna be. Difficulty normal to get started, fine. Let's do it. Let's learn about our folks. Can I name one rat meep? We'll see how actually not included it is. Uh, I wonder how far I have got. Finally, those assassins seem to be giving up. My loyal subjects are all gone too. Guess I'll have to stay here and brace myself. Perhaps this place will become my new home. 
Also, I have no idea where I should be on screen yet. We'll figure that out in just a little bit. <laughs> this really is absolutely adorable. And we have one assistant. And he leaves immediately. I wonder what he's off to go do. All right. So, your highness, how is your condition? Please try WASD and space to move around. Here's WASD. Here's space. Okay, so there's no jumping and moving. Uh, use the middle mouse to move the aim. Try looking around. Ooh, okay. Uh, terrific. I guess you're totally fine. All interactions are based on aim, so remember to aim well. Now I'll teach you what you may not be used to, so please follow my direction. Are you mine? Out grass? Firstly, I'm going to teach you how to interact with objects, starting with how to gather. With left click, you can interact with the object in the aimed area. Interaction includes various actions and gathers one. Try to move, aim, and interact with logs from the tree. Do I have an axe or did I punch it? Hey, we have an axe hidden in our pocket. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see the health remaining in the tree. There'll be many times objects in the same spot like this. In such moments, simply use tab to aim the intended object. Try using tab now. Okay, so if you want to, you can left click and focus on a tree. Or the log instead. Ah. Right. When holding items, aim the place to put the items in and use left click. Please put the items in the storage bin. So left click to store. There we go. When holding an item, actions other than putting in the items are not possible. From other interactions, use X to drop the item first. All right, next up, cut more trees. Also, time is absolutely flying by right now. Uh, when fully removed, plants will not grow back after time. Next is mining. You can mine with, surprisingly, left click. With mine, get resource from tiles, move it around, get some dirt. Is there a preferred dirt location? I can choose my own dirt adventure. My mining is slow right now. You can carry up to three things currently. And it goes. Well done, but we're not to dig too deep, you may not be able to get out. Uh, so probably I can only jump a certain height. Next up is how we build. Use Q to open command menu, build ye a ladder. There's building, there's mining, there's repairing, demolishing, and gathering. Build, ah, different uh, choices of what kind of thing you want to build. First up, the ladder. A simple ladder made of fiber. A little hard to climb up and down. So where do I going to go with this? Um, there? Well done. Only enough resources are stored, blueprints will be placed. When there are radisons, they supply and build, but now you should do it yourself. This game is like Craft the World. I don't know Craft the World. It looks like Oni? It does look like Oni. Uh, also feels vaguely like Terraria. We'll see how this all comes together. I don't know it at all yet. When a blueprint's placed, that's be mined before construction. All right, so you build them on top of something you have to mine and then build. Use F on storage to take resources. Most structure will be checked in detail with F as you've just done. To use structure's function, use WASD and E. Then use E to check resources stored. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, so we need to have leaves, we saw. With tab, you can put in or take out what's holding or stored. Oh boy, lots of buttons. Uh, so we should do take you. Up to three carry now. Also, I love that our princess is working so hard. I'm glad she doesn't immediately hire people to cause problems. Great job! Supply the resources, blueprint becomes ready to build. Interact with ready to build to finish building. A hey, one ladder done. Great, I bet you've not used it before, but ladders are quite helpful to climb up and down. 
Only tile objects like ladders, blocks, and roofs are placed in midair. I guess you've learned the basics well enough. Since you know the basic actions, let's bring the wandering radisons to the city. But to do so, a city entrance is needed. So why don't we build one? Ah, it's in the royal structures. Let me finish building my ladder first. This is me breaking the tutorial, surely. I'm gonna change the name also. So it says storage zero, we're gonna call it the main storage for now. I need a few more of these also. Oops, wrong one. Put in, put in. Build it up now. Hey, the ladder. I wonder if this goes anywhere. Yes, leaving the base. As uh, so we can jump up to too high, we can't go higher than that. Now, I wonder if I make a ladder up here, if we'd be able to uh, climb up the tree the rest of the way. But that's not what the game wants me to do. It wants me to make my royal entrance instead. There's wild wheat there. This tree eventually will regrow, apparently. As long as you don't dig it up entirely. Bunny rabbit! Hello, bunny! Okay. So build again. Royal. Before you choose structures to build, you can check the detailed information with the F key. Try the F key now. Ah, so you see the size of it, what it takes, and what it does. New migrants arrive every certain period of time. Cool. So select you. Ah, we have to have stone first. So go find some stone. It's all dirt. All right, so stone is down. I think I'd prefer not to dig down here, but instead head over and dig somewhere safer. Um, a rabbit hole. Ooh, and then spooky graves. No, no, no. No spooky graves allowed. Never mind. I will stay here for now. And uh, dig in this side, I guess. So, down, down. Again, be careful not to dig too deeply, or else we'll never be able to get out. Now, I do wonder, as the game goes on, we'll be able to carry more things. I assume so. Right, so, with our stone now stored, can we build the royal item? Hey, we can. Where other objects are located, blueprints cannot be placed. If you place blueprints on the nature tiles, mine order placed instead. Keep in mind, to build most structures like the city entrance, ground fit to structures horizontal side is needed. All right. So, sure, we'll throw it right there. And let's get building. Uh, missing resources, right, we have to carry them over instead. So, bar from here, we need three of you. Go there, and then three stone also. Here come citizens. <laughs> Finally, time to accept some migrants. Aim the city entrance. Use F to accept the migrants. Make them radisons of the city. Oh, they're they're wanting in. Let us in. Let us in. Hey, Sven Supreme. Thank you very much for the generous resubscription. Wishing me a relaxing gaming session. Thank you for that very much. I look forward to uh, relaxing too as we learn what we're learning. Uh, up here we can see we're allowed to have up to 20 characters. And currently we have a bouncing fellow saying let me in. So, let's see. Okay, this feels very, very auction not included. You can choose what you want to let in. Uh, various migrants will video, visit the city entrance, but when many groups are accepted at once, what would happen cannot be measured. So don't let everyone starve to death. Thus, there's no choice but to accept a single group each time. Before accepting the migrants, use F to check details. Now please choose whom to live with. <laughs> right, so there's Hana first. Hana has one point in... Um, Whatever this thing is, one point in smarts, and no points in fighting. Uh, that says she's militant. Happiness plus five when involved in battle. Also frugal. Necessities decline slowly. And she's got some cash money. 
also comes with water. Common, pure water, stable water supply is really important for farming. Cool. Or we got George. George's skillful, better production, and is happier sleeping on a floor. Love it. And some money. Or Ella and Nora. Um, both of them militant. One is bad at production. Uh, I'm going to take the water. I have no idea it's a good choice, but welcome Hana to the world of this world here. The accepted migrants become rats to the city and follow my orders. Rats work with certain priorities. Job, build, gather, mine, and transport. The best way to mop their action priorities is assign the rats to a certain structure. But currently, there are no jobs. Give a gather order using Q to make Radisons gather grains. You can order to gather by aiming on the target object and use the click button. While using the click button, you control the area to order various targets. Anything within the area that's possibly gathered be ordered to be gathered. While ordering, use tab to cancel orders. So much reading. Should have skipped the tutorial. <laughs> Every time I choose to do a tutorial, it's just kind of do this, do this, do this. Uh, and Malrock, good call. I should have mentioned that. Uh, friends, if you want to play this game completely for free, there's actually a free demo right now on Steam. So exclamation points, um, what is, I think, all one word, what is, will take you to the Steam page, but it is a free demo if you want to try it. Um, I think the game costs like $14 maybe. Uh, I bought the full release. I'm really having fun so far. We are just getting started. So we'll see, we'll see. When the gather order is given, Radisons will gather the ordered objects no matter if fully grown. All right, so gather ye bats. I uh, gather everything, thank you. As so our Radisson begins carrying things in. How cool is that? How cool is that? The characters will go do some work going back and forth. And then we'll have you gather through here also. Everything for me. Now I guess I can help in the gathering process. Work my queen. Yas queen. Slay queen. Put in. I don't need grains in particular. It's really cool having the character able to do, um, like, choose my own work, and then beyond that, they'll do the work that is boring, probably. I like that. Uh, opposite greens are used as food for Radisons. When starved too much, Radisons might die. Please supply enough food to prevent such happenings. Gosh, I'll try. In addition, Radisons happiness gets affected by hygiene and joy. See, I have the problem of believing that rats are dirty, but surely they lick themselves to stay clean. This time, let's build a toilet for basic hygiene. Toilets the service structures category. Okay. If I don't build a toilet, I wonder what happens. Let's see what we can make now. So, services. The toilets! I actually want to read about it before I build it. So, what do you do? A place to empty... Surely it says bowls, right? Bowls? We're cleaning out our bowls. And wash the hands. Let's have a national washed hands week. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so what it does is cause more cleaning, more good. Um, I wonder if it gets cleaned out, a la oxygen included. So I'm going to put you in the middle of the world for right now. We'll see how that works. Now, may I order my buddy to get building? Aw. Aw. Okay, maybe I have to do any and all building directly. So we can take four dirt. Oops. Again, we can take three at a time. So click that. One, two, three. Then we need one dirt and one um Log. May I carry more than one thing at a time, like different stuff? So one log. Nope, single thing at a time. Okay, so dump you. And then go ahead and grab. Hey, so she does start building also. 
Great work. Maintaining service facilities is key to maintaining Radisson's happiness. Radisson's also consume necessities and distinguish themselves into classes by how much goods and wealth they're holding. Oh no, here comes class conflict. <laughs> so there's bronze and silver and gold sold folks. But the knowledge we got after the catastrophe, what's that, is not even enough to something something something. Now it's time to build a research table to research for the people, the city, and mostly for yourself. <laughs> to make one, you need lumber. Build a sawmill to process wood. Right, so right now, I really am just throwing things wherever they happen to want to go. Uh, eventually, we'll find some better place to put everything, probably. But first game, just throw stuff wherever. All right, I need a sawmill. Hey, Paul Harvey, I have been doing well, my friend. It's good to see you again. How's it been? Welcome, welcome. All right, the sawmill. It's a three by two, requires ground and a worker. Um, spend 30 money to the person who built it. So if I build it, is it cheaper? We'll see. Uh, will this place have a philosopher king or queen? My queen character is clearly that. Hello, civilian. Good seeing you also. Uh, this allows us to produce lumber and wooden sticks and lumber and wooden sticks. I wonder why it's listing all four of them like that or two of the same thing. Uh, we need some more dirt. Can we scroll down to see below us? Um, no. We can climb down and see more. And there is a big open spot down there. So I'll need to get us some more ladders probably. Now may I place ladders where I'm standing currently? Uh, build ye a ladder. Oops. Okay, let's grab some grass bits. I wonder if I can make a ladder every other location, as opposed to putting them all in one giant spot. So she gets paid for building. I wonder why that is exactly. Like, how do I ensure that I get all the money for the good building? Okay, if I now put another ladder there, will little Hana come make it? Also, little Hana is now bronze sold. So higher rank than previously. Also new migrants. Oh, we're all gonna starve, aren't we? <laughs> I think I know how this story goes. <laughs> all right, so build again. Some ladders. Now, if I build myself into a ladder hole, or a place where I can't quite get out, will the um, rat citizens come save me, I wonder? Uh, let's see who's new here. Once again, three people. Already the second time welcoming visitors. They all seem fine to settle down. Whenever there's none you like or no space in the city, you escape to postpone. The pixie here is one fighting and one intelligence. She's an elitist. Uh, more happiness if there's no other Radisson with the same job. Also, rate of stamina reduces faster. Furthermore, we get seven raw meat. This person is absolutely swole, a giant uh, muscle building. They're an anarchist. They're less happiness for three days when they pass the leader. <laughs> uh, all right, so hide them in the deepest and darkest hole. Uh, these folks are progressive and an anarchist again. All right, elitist, come along. You'll be in charge of the... Um, Really, I say, be in charge of the um, lumber making, I assume. Uh, welcome, welcome, elitist. Uh, so I'm digging down to this hole here, which might be a terrible decision, but I'm just curious what's going to happen. Now, if I lay out, if I lay out the ladders then will our buddies go ahead and try to make them leaves first? Now, are there other leaf locations? I wonder if I can order my friends to 
do the digging for me. I'm sorry, order my friends feels terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. May I mm, invite my friends to do this work? All right, so y'all mine. Uh, be careful when giving the mine order. It changes the landscape. Radisons could be isolated or destroy the structure's base, or base's structure. Huh, I wonder if the grass will hang on its own. We'll learn very soon. Uh, get mining, Pixie! Get mining, all of you! Your queen has things to do. The queen kind of wants to go exploring. But it's all very spooky out here. Put a saddle on a rabbit. If I get a dry, uh, ride a rabbit around, I'd be so pleased. Uh, very soon we'll see if that uh, these leaves fall in. Let me go ahead and try it myself and see. Hey, it stays up. Awesome. Right, so may I then place additional ladders? I think my single word review for this game so far is absolutely charming. It's a really, really charming game. Hello, Romulan. Is there a sumo wrestle, wrestling tournament in Japan at this time? I'm sure someone in channel knows. Uh, we have a couple people who are really into sumo. Despite the fact that I live in Japan, I think sumo is okay. I just don't watch it all that often. Sorry to disappoint, but good seeing you. Hello to you, Moat. Welcome in. Seems like a lot of people are stopping by. Hope you're all having very good nights, very good days. Hope your Sunday is going well, and you're ready for the week ahead. All right, our friends are sleeping on the ground. It is 1440, sorry, 1640, which is 4 p.m. Bunch of lazy, lazy, lazies. There is a currently a sumo, sumo, sumo tournament on. Cool. I figured there might be. New migrants! All right, look here, you. Look here, you. We're all full. Go away. <laughs> oh, no. Now, if I just ignore the person banging on the door, will they go away eventually? Your queen is busy. I should set up more work. I think I'm going to consistently forget to order my folks to do stuff. Like, almost guaranteed I'm never going to remember to do this. I like doing it all myself. Okay, so we want to build... More ladders down. Select. Down. All right, who's new? Who's new? Who's new? All right, so more meat with Colin. Colin wants to fight. Also, Big Smarty. I like Colin. Or Stone. Stone um, consumes more luxuries. Also, a monetarist. Less happy when paying taxes. <laughs> so, I like all the political lines of these characters. That's pretty fun. This one's quiet. Uh, their joy stays around longer. This one's inactive. Big lazy. All right, Colin, come along. More warriors, more warriors. Although our happiness is currently 63. Probably giving them houses would be a good idea. Hey, Hana gained a point in possibly speed or agility or something. I like my little friends running around. Ladder down. Now, I don't know if I can jump up, like straight up. I uh, Currently, she's not letting herself go down, so I'm guessing I can't get back up from that. Put one more down, though. Can we go explore here? Need one more leaf first. Now, if I pick it up myself. Uh, someone else got one already. Good job, team. E to build. Cool. Then will they take the leaves immediately build here? They will. You geniuses. So again, they're spending money while this building. I'm supposed to be building a uh, a lumber factory right now. But what is down here? Uh, number one, there is copper ore. Which takes forever to go tink, tink, tink. But a new kind of rock. 
probably for weapons and tools and so on. Nice. Uh, let me go ahead and set up a mining job here. Oops. I pushed G accidentally. Uh, on the G button, you can check various information about our city, statistics and such. I'm gonna click through, we'll figure out eventually. Ah, uh, great. Uh, Robin, you're currently creating exams today for next week. Uh, I gave an exam last Friday and uh, yeah, the students have done okay so far. Hope that continues. Ah, uh, it's down here, I'm gonna try to make the lumber mill thing now. Here we go. And someone will get to that, I'm sure. Maybe I should do it myself, clean as I am. So make mining there. I guess I don't know exactly how far I should dig in. Like I'm enjoying kind of randomly selecting. What's this? A flower. And beyond that, I can't interact with the grave. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of covering it, sorry. Can't interact with the grave, called the Den of Plagues. Nope, no thanks, run away. <laughs> The game looks cute. Yeah, totally agree. Maybe the same people who made uh, Retropolis, a really fun card game and base def uh, defender game. Hello, friends. Who's here? So we had some logs. A man named Zen. Zen has extra HP and is happy when policies are added or deleted. Or there's Dean, who's delightfully bouncing his balls. Uh, faster joy rate decline. Is happy or less happy when fighting. Or we got Finley or Mary. Too many folks. Zen, come on down. More wood, more wood. I oh, have the one toilet. Some sort of additional options like affecting area. Check with the Q and R key. When an affected area is too big or small, efficiency is reduced. Set it wisely. Um. So only people standing there may use that. I'll make it like this right now. I have no idea how to think about efficiency yet. Okay, I have an elitist character, which I should probably make work here. Uh, most structures are activated when a Radisson's assigned to it. On some structures, uh, resource selected, gather, produce, choose which to process for efficiency. All right, who is the elitist here? Pixie is. So Pixie, you're me the worker here. And then right now it's making one log into two um, planks. Would you need planks to make the research desk, I believe? All right, flowers return. Then mine out this section also. Oops. As well. Tasty water. Look forward to using that at some point. And then tree skin is new. Ah, it's so gonna put stuff away while we're hanging out. Just help out a little bit. Your Highness! Only a single type of item was certainly we held at once. I picked up too many items, unfortunately, so a little bit more tutorial. I wonder how the devs of Retropolis decide to make this game next. Other than, hey, we have a lot of art assets. Let's try this one. Uh, my Radisons are getting sleepy. Do I know how to make beds yet? Or does that require research, I wonder? Services, maybe? Nope, that's a toilet. Um, Beds. All right, a personal bed for a Radisson to rest. Can lay an emergency patient on it also. So, some structures have options to change with Q and R before placing. When you place beds, you can either set auto or manual assignments. All right, for right now, we're gonna set manual assignments. Hey, Oda, can you play the king rat or queen only? I honestly do not know. As of right now, I'm just kind of throwing everything together. And uh, I didn't see a button for King Rat. I'm guessing you can do it at some point though. But for right now I'm enjoying the Queen quite a bit. 
at the beginning of the game, we saw a um, ostensibly male and female rat running through. And I, I don't know if when you begin playing your character, the one you're not playing as goes the other direction, possibly. Uh, three buddies, we want to make three beds, presumably. Good stuff. So sleeping on the floor, oh, sorry, four beds. So sleeping on the floor, you still get your characters a certain amount of happiness and goodness, but not nearly as much as you would otherwise. Okay, now we can put down one more bed. I'm guessing eventually we'll have the beds be closer to people's job sites. But not yet. There we go. Now let's keep digging this way a little while longer. I'll we'll see what's over here once we go. Look at some more grass at least. Uh, must I assign you to each of these? More migrants! More migrants! That's number one. Let me call in. I'm kind of assigning randomly here. Just based on uh, whoever comes up first is fine. Anna, our earliest friend. There are bunnies. Look forward to seeing what the bunnies can do. All right, who dares bother my base? Fee fi fo fum. Alto and some grass. So quiet cooperationist is happy when the member of the largest group in the social classes. So I need uh, Alto here to stay a commoner because more of us than are of them. This person's a floor, uh, dislikes sleeping in beds. This was an optimist, this one a progressive also. Um, come on, Alto. We still have 30 food. We're allowed to have up to 20 characters. So every single time that you want your characters to go dig things, you have to mark the jobs again. They don't consistently cut down these items, apparently. Also, when I'm selecting where I want to have people work, Enough resources stored to build. It's time to build a research desk. Okay, one second. One second. This gather... Can I zoom out then? No, you can only gather in the place you see currently. Ah, here we go! If you drag across, you can dig out more things. Good morning, everyone. So at midnight, the day begins again. So, hey, we're just getting to point ourselves in running around. I know in the G page, we can look at our own character and see what she's all about. So, Rat Zordy has three in strength, four in dexterity, three in intelligence. Uh, strength is one of the most important basic abilities to survive in the wild. Strong Razzins can support more resources at once and deal more damage to the opponents. So, I wonder how you get these points. I'm guessing dexterity, you just run around. Probably strength, you carry stuff. Intelligence is a helpful ability when there's a need for brilliant ideas. They gain experience more quickly, able to work more efficiently on many jobs. And no stat specs right now. So who else needs sleepy spots? Also, we choose you. And then we have another person named Zen. And then one more bed, and then a research desk too. Yeah. All right, I'm going through a research desk down on our floor. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, <laughs> but it seems like as good an idea as anything else I've had so far. Uh, desk with tools to do research. Let's just check new structures for the city. So I'm going to mark to gather these flowers again. And I'm guessing we want our ladder down, probably. I 
I do enjoy seeing the workers scurry. It reminds me of the very best things of uh, Octa included. Construction finished. Get to the research desk and use the F key. Maybe only the uh, queen can do the uh, research job. All right, here is the research page. Appears to be quite a bit. On research screen, you can unlock some new structures. Just as the building menu, use WASD and QR to move around. You'll need research points to research. It begins by collecting new resources or produce research points at the laboratory. Collected research points will be checked on the category at the end. But before researching something, use F to check detail about the structure. I saw one character say they need joy, so probably a joy building would be good. Uh, with Waz, we can go around. Uh, mini beds, soft beds, railroads. Oh gosh. We then have. What's this? There's kind of gathering from the apiary to the rabbit pasture, the fishery, the civic culture post. Cultivate plants and wildlife. Wow. Uh, what leads to joy, possibly? A circus stand, maybe? A place to ride a great show. People need circus to live on. Bread and. So it does make joy. And requires things we largely have. So someone's going to put on a circus for us. Uh, unlock it takes one point. Let me choose you. It says research has begun. How does that work exactly? Uh, researching happens automatically. We'll see. You saw a water tank. I mean, you didn't get keep water that came with the Radisson. Uh, I believe the Radisson put the water inside of the water bucket here. If people have nothing else to do, they'll wander around and put things away. Which I appreciate. I was going to make this area flatter, which means destroying a wheat. We have so much food right now. So all y'all dig out that, please. Yeah, I wonder if we should leave the top floor for some kind of, um, like, defenses. And then down enough, we can create other things. All right, research now done. And new migrants. Uh, I wish to build... The Circus Stand of Joy. It's quite large. <laughs> so, um, if we dig out this, and we then make flooring where we're standing. The dirt block. I wonder if the dirt blocks look a lot nicer than what we've made so far. Okay, we need to dig out over here as well. Hard sign is game that your interest looks complex enough for you to enjoy it. Oh, I think so. It's a nicely complex game. Yeah, I doubt it'll end up being exactly like oxygen included physics and such. But at least enjoyable for the moment. I'm ignoring the visitors for right now because we got a circus to make first. I think it'll fit here now. Now, I wonder if this circus should be placed more centrally in a place where people are able to run past it and have a good time instead of can go down to it. We'll learn right now, though. Ah, then mine out this way again. Ah, so unfortunately, we can't go Little Mario and slide through here. Let's finish out this ladder line. Like I said, I do kind of want to build up this way and see what happens if you climb the great tree to the left. That though needs more grass, I believe. Yes. Okay. I'm guessing it's important not to destroy areas you want to dig from the future. So if we dig this out, then there'll be no more wild weed availability. But May I make dirt blocks across here to get these um, yeah, pieces of, of grass out? Now, as they do this, I wonder if eventually we'll 
fall through or if the toilet will fall. We shall see. I'll help out by cutting trees. Oh, speaking of cut, causing things to fall, now that I think about it, I probably don't want to do this. I caused my tree to fall. We'll go underneath instead. Go. And you got this also. Cool. Floating tree? Yeah, I don't want a floating tree. All right, the building down here has been built. Do I have to assign someone to be a bit of a jester? I do. All right. Any of you want to be a funny ha-ha-ha? So two of them have a 10% bonus to efficiency. Experience gain faster. All right, Colin, you work there. Delight us all, Colin. Ah, and someone's not sleeping in their bed. Oh, okay, I made a bed and then didn't assign anybody to it. Whoops. Again, we can set it up so people can choose any bed they want to. I wonder if I should have done that for right now. Poor Pixie. Hi. Beds for all. Nice. Now, what do we see inside the new area here? Uh, it's same as previously. I'm going to grab the one grass and leave the rest closed off for right now. With that, we can make some more... Uh, Uh, make some more ladders. An eerie presence around the city. The enemy's, be enemy's behavior is suspicious. Be careful. Oh no. Time for our first battle? Eerie presence, they say. Now, I wonder if that's because I went close to that area of um, green plague, such and so. I, I just noticed now, up, also in the upper right-hand corner, we can see the entire world map. The entire me was nearby there. Spooky, spooky. Hey, Red Paris, good seeing ya. All right, helping, helping. I shouldn't have to announce my queen is helping. That should be the default, I suppose. <laughs> but yes, look, look, uh, ye many, your queen is assisting you. Uh, we have a bunch more research points, so I can probably go ahead and create more research buildings. Hey, okay, what's the jester do? Is it only when you walk past where people actually stop there and interact? Because someone still needs joy, apparently. People are looking at something. Maybe no path to go where they want to go. Huh? Structures need a foundation. Ah, okay. Ah, I see what happened here. All right, so someone did the thing he was worried about doing. People can't get back to their work locations now. Sorry, I'll fix this. Sorry. But they weren't clever enough to build it themselves. Wonder why that is. There's definitely enough dirt available to do so. Alright, all fixed, all fixed, all fixed. And still someone needs joy. Uh, I now believe that people can only get joy here if they walk past it. Hey, it's an invasion! Alright, after the invasion, we're gonna move that up. Now over here I see I have a sword as well as my fist. So I want to go to the sword, probably. Enemies digged a hole to invade the city. The city is in danger. The shift, we're now in combat mode. Oh, gosh, we're downstairs breaking everything. Signal attack, you must do something. I'm coming. Your queen is here. So they do turn and strike me. Draw the weapon with shift. Let's do some interactions with invaders. Your queen has killed one. All right, so very fast clicking is the name of the game so far. It's called the Plague Tunnel. We can drive that out. 
All right. How do I put out the fire? Uh, is it just repair? Cool. All right. So one bit of uh, beating the dickens of the enemy has been completed. Now, it seems that everyone walks back and forth. I want to put my uh, my jester stand there instead. Uh, so it seems the enemies can also attack literally anywhere they want to. And uh, not sure I feel about that. Uh, is there a way to break things? Me up here? No. Um, okay, I see no place to break it. Maybe it just lives there forever as a reminder of my foolishness. <laughs> I wonder if instead of going down here, we should just keep building across. Is there a destroy button here, I wonder? Ah, demolish. Wherever you misplace a structure, you can remove it with demolish order. We use for artificial items, ruining ladders or tiles, but a structure's foundation can be destroyed or Rasson's paths get dropped or uh, destroyed. All right, break that, please. Now, will this actually explode? Cool, it does not, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm going to cancel these out and I'll build the uh, road across instead. Maybe they're tab the top of building? I'll look at one moment. Thank you for noticing that. Tabs at top of building. Do you up here possibly? This is where you change into the different ones. We can mean barricades we want to. Goes upstairs probably, or since the enemies can dig in absolutely anywhere, I do wonder how effective it'll be to have barricades. For right now, though, we'll throw one over here, I guess. You at the barricade, listen to this. No one is coming to help you to fight. Um. Okay, so I feel bad cutting down this tree. It's been our friend since the very beginning. And I want to truly destroy it this time. And I'm hoping as characters walk in and out, they'll get a bit of joy. The word might be Pixie, who is locked in that position forever. The poor migrants, I know. I'm not welcoming the migrants to their home at all. Structure lacks resources. Please check the structure and solve the issue. So what I'm seeing is there's no one who is, or there's no wood available for continue to make planks. Think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah, honestly, I'm having trouble keeping all of my workers busy right now. So the idea of bringing in more workers seems a little overwhelming. Friends, it's about time for a quick little ad break. I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a moment here. And when that's done, we will decide on migrants once more. Hey, cool, we got a broadleaf seed. I guess that means is we have a uh, way of building a whole new tree if we want to. I assign someone here again. The person has the bonus to effectiveness here. Plus 15, love that. Ohana, you get assigned. There we go. I hope that will help with the joy thing. We'll see very soon. Now, friends, we'll pause the game. Uh, back to in about three minutes. Let's check out the old crossword. We finished one today. Let's see if we can finish one more at least. And I got a bunch that I didn't even start on. Let's work on these Thursdays first. All right, here we go. Uh, element of a strategy. Might be a tactic, possibly. Uh, what's the gear tab do on the circus? Spots, check it out. Thank you for the suggestion. Onesie fasteners. A snap, I believe. Uh, organization with a style handbook. Well, the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Modern Language Association has one. The news people do too. Good old news people. Uh, Paul, Powerball winners shout, I'm rich. Love it. Uh, fly while being pulled by a motorboat. 
fly while being pulled by a motorboat. It was like jet ski jumping things or water ski boat th I don't know. <laughs> Possessor of a property against which a creditor has a legal claim. Is that like a lean E? Oh, we'll see. Like bathroom or kitchen floors often is tiled. The key of Molitor's Sixth Symphony. Looks like it's A major or A minor. Um, I said lean E, so A minor is likely. Louisiana cuisine is I was a Cajun. C A J U N. It's not gonna fit. Um Creole. There we go. So it is lean E. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, top with buttercream frosting is iced. Stores that might sell Swiss products. Um, so Swiss could be chocolate. It could be as like um, Swiss knives, Swiss army knives. Swiss watches. Um, the Swiss is a plus symbol, of course. I don't know. I don't know. Cylinder in a sewing kit is the spool. Uh, reduce in width is to narrow. Ah, reduced, narrowed. A certain Wall Street trader slangly. I have no idea. <clears throat> Absolutely no idea. Set of two is a pair. Keep in good condition. Mm, make nice. Maintain, probably. Pasta shape similar to fettuccine. I guess linguine. Uh, math class is variables. That's algebra. I've been reading about algebra and geometry. Apparently our friends the Greeks uh, could only think about mathematics geometrically. Um, and so when they did things like the um, Pythagorean theorem, and they said, you know, it's it's uh, this side squared, they would actually take the triangle and make a square off of it and then count the area inside of the squares. Uh, I'd never thought of the idea of squaring a number being as if you made a square and determined the area of it. And so the, the Greeks really, really struggled with abstract thought about numerals, apparently. It was concrete, that's about it. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. All right. All right, all right. A parasail, apparently, is what it is to be fly while being pulled by a motorboat. Uh, running rings around. Orbiting? Oh, so arb means, like, ar arbiter or something? Arbitration? The rational numbers really bothered the ancient Greeks. Yeah, David Foster Wallace argues that um, the Divine Brotherhood of the Pythagoreans like intentionally hid irrational numbers, uh, like their, their expectation of this, to the point that they redefined two as, what was it? Like, is it 50 49th or something? <laughs> something like that, to, to avoid the possibility of irrational numbers. It's a, it's a pretty funny story, at least. Uh, interior designers concerns our friend Decor. Um, line of mountains is a mountain range. Hawaiian, oops, uh, couch patch, kids, a doll. Individual musicians, moments to shine. The solos. Torn off part of a ticket is the stub. Deli order with corned beef and cabbage. Sorry, corned beef and sauerkraut. It's the Reuben. Our friend, the Reuben. And also, apparently the Greeks didn't yet have the number zero. They really struggled with anything involving negation that was, or, uh, um, what is it? Uh, nothingness, those treated as somethingness. And so, no zero allowed, which is so fascinating. So found fascinating. Uh, let me run an AFK real quick, fill up my glass of water, uh, back in just 30 seconds to a minute or so, and we'll see you, uh, see you presently. Be right back.
Hello, about 12 Eskimos. Thank you for that prime sub. It is very good seeing you. I am doing fantastically indeed. Hopefully you're doing fantastically also. Um, while I was gone, I got a little email from my doctor that says lab results attached. I wonder if they sent me like my uninterpreted lab results. Last week I had to go and get my blood drawn. And then if I'll get an interpretation email later, because if it is like pure raw lab notes on uh, my blood test, I might have to like look up everything. Also, I shouldn't check my email because now I'm like, hmm, I hope I'm not ill. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should probably go look at those. It's fine. They'll wait until the end of stream for sure, but should not check my email while I'm away. 12 Eskimos, you got married. I mean, congratulations. It's awesome. I hope your uh, marriage is going well. What an exciting thing. Hope it goes very well indeed, friend. Again, thank you for the Prime sub too. All right, all right, all right. If they don't have the lab results you got, they include reference that is alongside numbers you actually got. Cool, we'll see. We'll see. I hate that you get notifications of test results when they come in. Doctor doesn't say anything for 12, 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I appreciate transparency. Like, I'm glad that I get access to my own medical records. I would just be really grateful if they held off on telling me until after the doctor had a moment to look at it. But I'll look after stream. Don't you worry, friends. I'm in perfect health. No problems at all. Okay, so I'm hoping that Hana's dancing here. Are you crying? Are you quitting your job already? <laughs> Alright, so what's the issue here at the sawmill? I guess there's no more raw resources. And so planting a new tree would be good. Now that's sad. This is called like bark or something. Tree skin. What do I get for tree skin? We get more logs. So if you want to, you can cut down the entire tree here as a way of getting more and more wood. But I do want to see what's the top of the great tree. So let's go make our first ladder up. And then we'll hop each one probably. All right, Radisons. All right, residents. Who's here today? Sam. Sam's inactive. Faster stamina loss. Wants to be the only person to do this job. Gives us grass. Now these two people are both playing with juggling themselves. I don't quite know what that means other than a variety of character models. Conservative. Less happy when you change policies. Slob. Hygiene goes bad fastly, f fastly, speedily. All right, Sam, come along. Thanks for the uh, beautiful pieces of grass. I wonder if I can interact with the rabbits. Should I try to stab a rabbit? <laughs> the answer probably no, but can you imagine if I did? I'll put my grass down for now, then climb back up and build... Those. Grab these. Oh, our new character needs to have um, a bed also. Still no joy increasing on somebody. But who would it be that would never go out? Now, I wonder if it's the person who is um, doing the entertaining themselves cannot be entertained. Insert here, Tears of the Clown uh, reference. Maybe we'll find another uh, way of producing joy for people. But let's go do some quick researching. Ah, you know what? I meant to mark this as anyone can sleep there. Forgot to do so. Going to work. Here to work. No one's working. Very well. Uh, we got 11 research points. Oh, we're curious about this thing up here. What does the setting do? So you can change size here if you want to. And then maybe also change can people use the bed freely or have to be assigned? Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, so assign standard or to anybody. We'll go ahead and say anybody who wants to use it can use it. Hmm. Hmm. It's still showing that no one's using it. We'll see if that changes. Also, I see a sleepy bunny. Let's go stab a sleepy bunny. Hey, so people do stop and engage with Hana. The rabbits fight back. Okay, so defeated rabbit. We're carrying one rabbit something. Into the box you go. My character seems to have no needs. So far, yes. All she needs is more and more ability to tell people what to do. That's her true need in life. What do you mean more migrants? No more migrants. Go away. <laughs> uh, uh, back to that in a bit. Let's go do our research. Okay, so what does a soft bed do? A soft luxury bed designed to focus on rest. This we need to have fabric. Nothing of the sort currently. You can have wooden blocks for more attractions for sure. Over here, the water tank in the hunter's hut. A place to gather water nearby. Where? The city consumes a lot of water. Sure, I was going to do that one. And I'm guessing I can gather the water right here then. So with that in mind, um, I hope the water is not pressurized. <laughs> Hopefully I dig it and does not cause terrible experiences. Uh, to avoid that though, I'll dig out up and through. Hey, we can carry four things now. We're a little stronger than previously. I do kind of want to go attack one of these zombie things. I wonder if I can order all of my people to go attack the uh, the gravestone. Hey, we made a water tank now. Cool. Uh, is there a job to attack? Let's see, demolish. Uh, I can't demolish the gravestone there. I'll continue to be penned in. I don't mind that so much. If we dig out this spot, can we then slide through the opening? You can. Cool. Does the water escape? As right now, no. Is the barricade I put up leaving or make cause people not be able to pass the barricade? That's a great question. I think I assume it'll only stop enemies. Mm, hold enemies for a great time. It does slow down people going through it which you can see right here. But it doesn't seem to block entirely. Okay. So we can now build a water gathering bucket. Base? No. Resource? There we go. Oh my goodness, you're huge. <laughs> All right, so we'll put it over there. And I'm guessing we'll need some kind of way to get across. Um, that's quite a bit larger than I expected, actually. Uh, we want to have a little ladder here, I guess. Hopefully the bear on top of the mountain. Oh, bear goes over the mountain achievement for climbing a giant tree. I hope so. Hopefully the opportunity to uh, find something kind of cool up there and not just, uh, you are going to die. Who's lost? I don't think anyone's lost right now. Hopefully not least. What game hurt me with pressurized water? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've never been hurt by any game, auction not included. <laughs> it says lost Razin for a moment. Huh, I don't know. I don't know. We ascend once more. 
Oh boy. All right, so we can dig up if we want to. Oh my goodness, look at the tree. So the tree really does become a proper tree up. Wow. I thought it was gonna be a little mountain, but no, it really is a giant tree. I'm guessing we just dig through it if we want to. I know that can be done in, um, in Terraria. I don't want to disrespect the mighty tree. However, however. However. <laughs> with this. I've got a bunch of logs. Don't want that right now. It didn't care to dig through a tree. I mean, you're not wrong. I guess we'll dig to the bottom portion of it here. Oops. I want to be proper rats, not uh, the kind that people want to get rid of. Happy, friendly rats that uh, entertain and delight. Trained rats, maybe. People are picking up more points again. Let's check out jobs here. How's food looking? So food's starting a little bit low. Is there anything I can uh, research to get food in particular? Hmm. So these are all services. This is decor. A berry orchard, a place to cultivate edible berries, cultivation takes nutrients in water. Uh, the mushroom farm instead, a place to grow edible mushrooms. I haven't seen any mushrooms yet. Uh, over here is the hunter's hut. A uh, place to hunt down wild animals, beware of becoming prey. Maybe we can hunt rabbits and then eventually breed rabbits and harvest milk. <laughs> uh... Do rabbits make milk? I had no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and try the berry orchard first and see what we can get. Rabbits are mammals. I mean, you're not wrong about that. I just don't like thinking about it, I suppose. <laughs> I'll go ahead and gather some wheat, as this is a much friendlier way of interacting than... Uh, on the poor old rabbits. Hello, cat! Does this what happens when we marry our cousins too often? Wait, what do you mean? Are our little rats are doing well? Or are you seeing us like, um, like Crusader Kings 3? We're no longer people people, we're just rat people. Very confusing. I'm glad nonetheless we get to be the queen. Ah, we got the berry orchard. So, what do berry orchards need, I wonder? They require berries. <laughs> well, who would have imagined they need berries? <sighs> okay, it is time for your queen to go adventuring. Your queen's gonna attempt to go past this terrible place. If she dies, at least we had a good time learning. This is fine. Oh, cool that you get green seeds. Again, anything that you dig out of the ground, I think you can replant somewhere else. All right, so what's gonna happen? I wonder if the world's um, generated differently. Each time procedure is generated, or if it's a flat, stable map. I'm guessing it's procedure generated. As you can attack the Den of Plague. It pops out enemies. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, what have I done? Now, I know other my characters can fight, too. Also attack a rabbit. You fool, you fool. Ah, right, a winner is us. Our health does come back. Now, I wonder if as it gets low, we're going to end up with... Hey, it's Spitters! 
Uh, these spitters have giant stomachs of something. Uh, they die very quickly. Are you gonna explode? All right, they seem not to be exploding yet. All right, that's not fighting for now. <laughs> All right, are we full health then? I lost Radizen. But who got lost and where? Huh. Maybe it was Sam going up and back down. Hey, Cat, you've been watching a lot of the VODs to help get through a cold, dark winter week. Love all the slarsh, etc. Hey, Cat, I'm very glad. Yeah, the VODs are always there to keep you company. And uh, I'm very glad to hear that it has done at least that recently. So, thank you for telling me that. Enjoy the VODs. They try their best. Okay, so... Gathering ability is what one needs for getting the water. Um, we have an elitist here who would like to do the job alone. So, Sam is water guy. They put on clothes! They put on clothes! <gasps> How adorable is that? Wait, where are you going with the water? Uh, so he's still going to store it over at the main bucket, apparently. That's fine. Once more up the tree. And yeah, if we need to, we can cut out this entire tree. Hey, Cyber Oracle! Thank you for gifting that subscription to uh, to Cat. Cat, uh, know that people here like you, and we're glad that you're hanging out. And uh, Cyber Oracle, thank you for your kindness and supporting the old stream. Uh, I can almost guarantee we're gonna fall off this thing eventually. I shouldn't think of it. <laughs> we're gonna be fine the whole way. Uh, there's a, a branch up there we can check out for the first time ever soon. Will let me fall. Uh, let me go very close to the ground and we'll try that. If it's possible, walk off the tree. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Cool. Uh, we're going to go back to fighting the uh, nearby enemies once more. Boo, you can't fall off. Boo, you say. Yeah, I mean, you're you're not wrong. It is enjoyable to see how you could fall. Oh, cool. In combat mode, there are different selections. You can escort, you can defend, dismiss, or move. Huh. I wonder if we get more warrior characters eventually, or more characters who can um, be assigned to fight, fight, fight. Uh, the tree will need to put a ladder up to, I suspect. Also, I saw there's a building called the, the Lumber Camp. I don't know if we can assign it to permanently engage with these instead of self-marking it each time. Once more to battle. Will the enemies get stronger as we go? These are flyers, the basic ones. Oh gosh, my health! <laughs> so, the health bar went away, and so I believe that I was in full health again. This is a lie. Absolutely untrue. <clears throat> Grab some rabbits. Let's grab some rabbits and just make sure our health goes up again. Whew! Whew! Now we saw there is a way to use the beds to uh, have a, an ill person hang out. I'm gonna check my ruler's stats. So our health is 63 out of 150. I wonder if that'll fill up on its own, right? To like make uh Potions of some sort. Let's check research and see what, if anything, is possible. Hospital. Place to cure the wounded and sick. Heals injured or wounded visitors. Also, school. Place to educate Radisons better. Studying is last as always. How dare you? How dare you say that studying is least important? <laughs> I'll get the hospital very soon. Then and then we'll work across here. I'll grab the dirt and do this myself. Okay, we'll throw it there for right now. Take this one out. Grab a 
Turks. Build this bits. Can you sign for the Warriors? I wouldn't doubt it. I haven't seen a way to do so yet, but I really wouldn't doubt it at all. My school research is done. What I want, though, is to have hostel bed first. Uh, that's three points. Most expensive yet. Lots more water, too. Hey, and fish also. First time seeing fish over there. And then I see down below a different color of something. So copper is this uh, eerie presence comes. And up here on the, um, the day chart, you can see when the attack will happen. Okay. I should message the devs the statement is bad. Bad, rather. Dear devs. Here's how you should fix your uh, your grammar and such. <laughs> Maybe someday. Um, I believe the devs are not uh, native speakers, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, are there military things to research? The barrack, singular. Place to train melee soldiers. Sufficient training is needed before battle. The Temple of War. Now, I'm kind of guessing that my... Um, Oh, we need to heal at once. We need to heal at once. If we don't heal, the queen is too weak to fight. Service. Hospital is still unlocking. We have to have stone pieces. <laughs> I may need to stay back and let my friends fight instead. Okay, I know they're allowed to burrow in elsewhere. So I'm going to throw up some more barricades, if I can, on the edges. Again, the barricades only slow. They don't do damage. I'll throw out here also. I wonder if they can't burrow into the, uh, the dirt floors. They only burrow into the uh, unmade floors instead. Half with enemy time, half with enemies. I run out of water very quickly there. Still need our berries though. I think last time we looked, our queen was at 64 health. 63 health. Okay, so she does not heal up on her own. Um, can I have her go sleep over here? I think it's only the citizens who can sleep. Yeah, you can't assign your queen, unfortunately. Hmm. Also, if food's running out, we do have bunnies. I wonder if it's possible to butcher the bunnies. Probably raw resources, if so. So the hunter hunts, you can hunt down the animals. Um, I don't see anything involving a kitchen, maybe. So I don't know if we're beating up. Oh, Butcher, here we go. Place to process captured animals, produces meat, etc. Right. Also, they said we should probably build a research table to help us research research. A right, laboratory. Already researched. Awesome. So next up is going to be the butchery. And then we'll build the laboratory after that. Okay. Hospital, please. Oh, again, requires fabric and stone. So possibly made a huge mistake by letting the, uh, the queen get wounded this much. That's what I get for trying things on my own. <laughs> Well, luckily, if the citizens die, I can always uh, get some more fairly easily. I wonder if we get more points in strength by running back and forth while carrying something. Let's see. 
Okay, seems like you can't actually pull up your charts while you're... I just can't. Wrong key, sorry. Uh, so she's currently at 191500. We'll run back and forth for a moment. It's time for invasion. All right. So it's 191, it's still 191. Maybe it's the actual picking up and dropping. Ah, attacks in two directions. We'll go downstairs first and trust the citizens can defend the top part if need be. Hello, friends. Colin comes too. Colin comes and picks things up. Okay. Bring my sword. So the barricade does lock them in place and I'll have to attack behind. That's incredibly strong. I really like that a lot. But remember how that works. All right, one more round of fighting. City has no food. Uh, this time they're a little bit too close, and so it's hard for me to uh, hold them against the barricade. All right, we need food badly. I'm like Blue Wizard. I think we, I think we finished re yeah, not recruiting, um, researching the butchery, possibly. Production? Okay. We need four little sticks. Little sticks are made at the um, sawmill station as well. We can go look for wheat as well. And I believe there are ways to... I believe there are ways to um, replant that wheat. Which, I wonder if we need a garden to do so. They don't see a way to plant directly. So, gardening it is. And we know our people don't immediately die if we let them run down on uh, on food. I thought I saw a garden before. Green farm? I mean, I'll do it. Now we'll go hunt for grain. Grass. Aha! More food for little friends. I wonder if some of the refugees are bringing with them um, more food. If need be, we can do that. Make food worse for a little bit to make it, make it better a little bit for longer term problems. Ah, got enough food again. Now the grain farm. I'm guessing it has to be outside, most likely. Okay, let me then move this over if I can. Again, for that, we need to destroy. We got our first ever wooden stick. <laughs> Not the most inspiring, I suppose. Ah, uh, we can make our own grain farm. Uh, place to cultivate edible grains. Cultivation takes time and water. I mean, we'll put this over on the side of the um, water location. So up here, I guess. And see exactly how big it is, but we'll see if it fits right in place. Whoever recommended this game the other day, thank you for doing so. Like, it is exactly what I hoped it would be. I'll be curious to see exactly how complex it gets. Uh, for right now, though, it's is being a good time. I was going to use four of our current grain, so we're going to run out of food again for a moment. But the green plants have almost refilled. All right, and then did I research the lumbering camp yet? I did not. Oh, there's a gathering camp. Place to forage with stuff nearby. Huh. 
I will even consistently take the gra uh, green out of the ground if it's here. Doesn't quite fit, unfortunately. Um, again, I want wood stuff over here. Can I move the rabbit hole? No, it's kind of stuck in place. I can move this over again. Hey, it's raining. I wonder if when it's raining, if you have a water bucket, if it refills. But unfortunately, the one over here is not exposed. Yes, the water does refill. <gasps> oh. 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 Something to think about for the future. Maybe we have no food at all. <laughs> Only a slight issue. Water is included, it's true. Oxygen is not, but water is. Uh, need someone to start farming, please. Any of you want to be farmers? Wow, eight water becomes 30 grain. Bingo, bango. What do the bunny do? They hop around right now. I think he's a butcher's shop also to produce them into interesting other things. Uh, so everyone's efficiency is 110 or so. All right, Colin, I choo choo choose you. Will we eventually use the tree the giant funnel? That's an amazing question. I love this idea more than I can possibly say. It might possibly be a giant funnel someday. But for now, we continue to climb ever northward. There'll be something up here. If I do all this digging for I mean, what it gives us a bunch of leaves. That's really quite cool. Well, I can get my own leaves, so much easier than to build the ladders. All right, what do we find up here? Eh, nothing quite yet. So it may just be a tremendous number of leaves. If we keep going up, we'll never know what they'll find. This is what I like play, about playing new games, is I do not know where to find. I absolutely love that. The knowledge that I do not have enough knowledge to make any real judgments about the future of the game. Make them live their buds appear, beds appear, I think they would not enjoy that so much. It would also be a lot of walking. I'm guessing for the sake of efficiency, we didn't shouldn't do too much of that at least. What, efficiency and a resorty base? No, no, no. Seems like a scam to me. I will be curious to see if there are actually enemies in this game. Sorry, if there are actually bosses in the game. Um, I know that in the game which this is based, Retropolis, there are occasional boss waves. But things are a little bit tougher. Now, will the first boss be the Lord of the... Uh, the Lord of the Tree. Will the entire tree come to live, come to life, rather? Also, just saw a uh, first building for beauty. Let's check out in a second. Better be able to touch the stars. <laughs> I also do not see we really have no food. I should help with that before our Radisons begin to die. And I get labeled a bad rat lord or rat lady, I suppose. Uh, how long does this job actually take? So it takes a while to go to the 30 grain. Once that's done though, it should be quite a bit. Can we dig through the tree? We could dig through the tree. The moment I'm trying not to treat our tree so poorly. I'd love the tree. Uh, 
I want to see in a moment here if my queen has more health. Last time we looked, she had 159, that she took some damage. The queen, what do you have now? 54. No, she is definitely just losing health right now. So that hospital, I think, is very, very important. Now, I sure do hope that she can use the hospital. If she can't, it's going to be pretty darn lame. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Maybe your queen has one health pool for the entire game, and I wasted it, and so now I get nothing more. Um, okay. Is the butcher thing research now? Is the butcher thing? If I made the butcher thing, perhaps I didn't actually make it. Mm, hunter. Oh, it's production. I think it's production. Actually, there it is. There's a royal bit. Uh, royal bed. Oh, that'd be cool. So, royal bed. Healing. Resting will recover zero HP. <laughs> just what I wanted to see zero HP <laughs> that probably is the path though hello Slivered I'm enjoying Ratopia it's a little slower than some also the Medibed good call now, I worried before if the Medibed was only usable for the little buddies not for the uh, the queen herself they can't make the hospital yet I recall that uh, the advanced bed, especially for health recovery, requires medicine, which I don't yet have, unfortunately. Must learn about fabric. Must learn about everything. Uh, why am I here? What am I doing? What? Am, why am I here? Who am I? To quote Admiral Stockdale once upon a time. Right, Butcher. Thank you, Butcher. What are you doing? That's right. That's right. That's right. It's here. Uh, I guess I want to put it below the ground also. I just where I have a lot more space right now. Uh, let's dig out this way. I'm sorry, Mother Tree. Now when Colin gets that first food done, it's going to be amazing. Maybe the whole time we'll find out the tree was keeping us safe from the true horrors on the other side. Oh. So it's not necessarily a back wall underneath the tree. I wonder if that counts as outside then, or if it's not a mechanic like that in this one. No true area there is. I feel like I shouldn't keep going down until I have a clearer sense of what I'm trying to make. Hello, rabbit. It loves me until I play Terraria. I played Terraria a little bit. Um, I enjoyed it, but it's a really backseaty game. My sense is that Terraria is a game that is really popular with a bunch of younger people. And um, because of that, it felt like the audience was bringing in was super go do this, go do that, in a way I found kind of tiresome. Um, so yeah, Terraria's a game I'd be happy to learn more about and play at some point, but I need to be in the right mindset to do so. Like I like younger viewers. They can be awesome, bring good energy and so on, but some of them are a little demanding. And uh, it felt like Uncle Resorty time, which I use as my way of referring to uh, situations where especially younger players really want things done just a particular way. Good old Uncle Resorty, he tries his best. I wonder if eventually here we'll run out of oxygen. It's just gonna be a little bit too uh, thin. Getting closer and closer to seeing the top at least.
Is anything silly up in this playthrough yet? Um, I mean, there's been funny moments of realizing that my queen doesn't have to do anything and she can just sit back and enjoy the, um... Yeah, sit back and enjoy the, uh, the little workers doing all the labor, but no, nothing super silly yet. It's charming enough. Charming enough, though. The game does feel a little bit more on rails, possibly, than some other ones we've played. Um, yeah, definitely a little slower paced. Um, there seemed less emergency, because again, my dupes are not immediately dying here. Like, were they immediately dying for no food? I feel like, oh gosh, I've done a terrible thing. Or are we getting close? Are we getting close to uh, having actual food coming in? <laughs> Yeah, they definitely feel like a cozy game. Like, definitely a cozy game for sure. All right, 67% done. Don't starve, friends. You true rats will have food soon enough. And your rat who dies is clearly a false rat. <laughs> That's what I'm going with here, I think. Eerie presence! Alright, time for fighting again. Man, fighting with no um no way of healing the queen is definitely a little rough. Okay, so we got two people who have no jobs right now. Alto all you, my friend. I hope that brings us meat consistently. Do need a special job? So one bunny rabbit becomes five meat. Or bunny rabbits. Alright, if I'm interested in trying to make the hospital or the medibedi, then we need fabric. Don't quite know how to make that yet. We also need the lab, because then I'll give me ongoing research points. Hmm, I wonder if we can, like, discover a way to make potions. So maybe, like, an apothery? Apothery? Probably say this word. Here we go. Nope, that's how you get research points. Uh, royal stuff. I suspect the royal bed is how we heal up. Even though it says plus zero. Also the ratty bench. What's the ratty bench do? Um, a rat with the shape of a rat... Or a bench with the shape of a rat head... Head shape should be weird, but somehow is cute. <laughs> All right, so I'll raise uh, decor, maybe. Uh, to make the queen's bed. Fabric, to make fabric, we need a weaving mill. I've not seen that yet. So it's probably gonna be that the research production, the weaving mill, to make that with everything we need. Cool. So research you next. Hey, got an achievement. Delight in mind. Build our first decorative structure. Hey, there we did. Hope that helps people feel a little better as they go around. Now we're still level one as a city. You can see how high that climbs. Also, our joy is still staying kind of low. So I do wonder if you need to have more than one joy source. So that the person who is producing joy can also get joy. Man, I feel myself being able to go in any direction I want to. If we want to produce more food, we can do more food. If we want to weave, we can weave. Et set, et set, et set. All right. Down here's where everything gets made for right now. So let's make our weaving table. And hopefully have the raw materials we need in order to get... Um, in order to get um, enough cloth to make the row bed. I'll need a royal bedroom also. Let's go ahead and mine down to get that. Oops. Hello, Sorted. The pawns are almost sickly adorable. They are indeed. It's uh it's one of these games that it's too much to look at. It feels too good. One's cold, dark heart begins to be filled with delight. <laughs> Your queen has got food for you. 
And the enemy characters do look a little bit horrifying. You'll see some in just a second here. All right, so where are they coming from? The one group's coming right here. Okay, stay far enough back that I can hit them. Hey, they walked through the barricade. Unfortunate. Oh, they're kiteable. Cool. Also, some are ruining my beds. So the queen's earlier decision to stand and fight was perhaps not the wisest one we've ever had. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. They're burning everything. Again, kiteable. I've seen like, okay. They lock in on destroying one building, and when that's done, they settle down. All right, everything's good again. Gonna assign someone to research. I believe I have two free workers right now. Only one actually. And I really need the uh, cloth most of all. So start that thing up next and then probably bring in some more refugees. Okay. Wait, they build this bit. Is totally not the same game as Retropolis. Yeah, more control. More control than Retropolis. Also, it's not gotten super hard yet. I wonder if it will get super hard eventually. All right. So now every Radisson's assigned to do some kind of work. And while that's super great, I think it means I'm the only builder then. The water bucket guy is probably not water bucketing. I want to try this. Oh, I can't do it. I was gonna say if I dig down this way, could I then have my um, the water refill this bucket more easily when it rains? But if I move it, there's no way to uh, have the current farm working. Uh, 30 food. The food situation has been resolved because of that. Hello to you, refugees. I need someone who can help me with just building. I uh, need so keep hygiene late, uh, longer. Hypertension. Die, <laughs> dies if happiness below, falls below 20 points. <laughs> I can't have that. Uh, militants, who is somewhat weak. That's very awkward. Over here, neat person who wants to sleep on the floor. And then a skillful person who doesn't want policies changed. Hello, adventurers. You come with me. Help me gather and such, please. They will auto-gather. Yes, they will clean up on their own if they have nothing else to do. So we have two builders again. Swell. Uh, one wants a bed, one does not. Hey, it's summer! I had no idea the season was going to change. I now worry tremendously how long until everything freezes to death. We're out of food. Well, well. Can I teach him a pill to fight? Possibly. Haven't found a way to do so yet. There's a citizen with a yellow bang request. The choice leads to consequences, so please consider wisely. I'll be with you very soon, my friends. Be with you very, very soon. Just want to make one more bed first. Okay. I saw that training camp I should figure out. Oops. This. Hey, it's a storm. So lots of water coming in. Ah, what you got? The gathering. Dear leader, I love forest too much. Look at those grass and flowers. <laughs> Not the most literate of characters ever. If you build a gathering camp and assign me for the work, I'll work hard to gather resources for the city. Don't worry, I'll gather only fully grown ones so they would not get harmed. Would you please for me and the cities? I could say we needed one just in time. Or I could say, ha ha, I guess you have free time. So mission, build a gathering camp. If I do that, then everyone gets three happiness 24 hours. All right, I will need one just in time. I 
Alright, so so far nothing terrible is happening from the storm. I wonder if everything will burn down eventually. Alright, so y'all want a gathering camp. Let me um, construct one here if I can. So we couldn't do that. I kind of want to go fight the enemies again and drive that back so I can build more. But I'll just put it down here for now. Cool. I do like how we're getting water on and fog on our camera. That's kind of a cool mechanic. If I dig, well, no. I was gonna say, if I dig like this, I wonder if the water will pool here. But it doesn't seem to be going on the ground in other places, unfortunately. All right, the loom perhaps is done. So time to build the queen's own bedroom down here. Also, I see a new place of, um, it's a new kind of stone, rather, down to the left. Maybe not a great spot for the bedroom. For now, just the queen's hidey hole, I suppose. I bet I set this thing up and didn't say what to do with it. Okay, no, she's getting it done. And you have four, so two jobs worth. More migrants, and everyone's happy. Everyone's happy not to have a job there. Also lost Radisson. I don't think I changed anything that should lead to that. Hey, we found water. So water does pool. I don't understand how. <laughs> but the water man is gathering the water. <laughs> um, weird. We weird. I'll help out with this. Hey, Jay. This game is adorable, it's true. And yes, the water somehow found me. I love it. I love it. Cap. Doesn't seem to break anything. How do they get joy? So they get joy watching Hana do her work here. I haven't found any other way of getting joy. So I'm hoping that they're willing to uh, go stop there. We're a little confused. One short still. One short. Uh, am I allowed to work here? I just don't think I can. So, more production efficiency. We're going to leave one person to build right now. I'm guessing the clown does need joy. Yeah, let's see if there are other ways to produce joy. The music stage. A place for a great talent to perform. Power of culture. Or the pub. A place to drink and have secret talks. No good about beer. We haven't built a school yet either. Oh, so much to build. And there's so many research trees here. Just absolutely so much to do. I probably want to get the uh, training camp going also. To have actual military folks. Uh, friends, time for a quick ad break. Let's pause the game here. We'll come back in just a few minutes to continue with the expanding and building of our lovely little city. So, let me go ahead and uh, change scenes. Back in three minutes for some more good time. Uh, knocking out last Thursday's puzzle, hopefully, hopefully. Damp mop. Damp, damp mop is a wet hair, I do believe. That's at 11 o'clock now. I'll be ending the stream a little bit early today, uh, probably in about an hour or so. I just need to do a couple things before stream starts because I need to, um, I need to do some grading. I'm a little behind on grading now. A Sydney's country on a s Olympic scoreboard, probably OS, like so. A government organization provides disaster aid, it's FEMA. Anti-hacking measure, with a question mark. Um, Anti-hacking, so something that stops people from cutting down trees, maybe. Hawaiian feast, a luau, I think it's spelled that way. Stores as well sell Swiss products of oh, Swiss cheese. Cheese shops, I assume. Uh, payday frequency for some. Semi-weekly, semi-monthly. Okay. 
Uh, Tap's instrument is a bugle, B-U-G-L-E. Uh, not verbalized is tacit. Nourished is fed. Uh, can we get this now? Anti-hacking measure. Rough or tough? No idea. No idea. Rough medicini. Rough medicini. <laughs> Uh, afternoon performances are uh, matinees. Matinee, I think it's spelled that way. Unexpected blank in bagging area. Unexpected blank in bagging area. No idea. Oh, item. This is at the uh, grocery store. I was thinking initially the... Um, what's it called? Um, like an airplane area. Oh, so it's linguini with an E instead. Anti-hacking. Um, so, tough medicine? Oh, cough medicine. <coughs> Hacking. Got it. Uh, squats. Squats. So, squat could be nothing. It could also be the exercise of going down and back up again. That's enough for now. Uh, topical salve would be an ointment. Mumbai honorific to Shri. Uh, abstract idea is a concept. Tribal emblems or totems. Uh, former Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, peaceful campus occupation. Peaceful campus occupation. Oh, sit in. That kind of occupation. The Simpson Tavern is Moe's. Highest points are Acme's. Flight destinations. Flight destinations. Nests. Birds fly. Uh, be the one singer Dua Lipa. A trio of thread-spinning goddesses in Greek myth. Well, they're fates. Oh, they want some other name here instead of fates. Um, they're seer sisters. Uh, big hits. At, oops, wrong one, sorry. Uh, what some baked goods are made from. Uh, they're made from scratch, I guess. Kitchen boss are chefs. Data transmission device are modems. Uh, bathers at Ansnias. Painter George, I have no idea. Um, Surratt, possibly? I don't know how it's spelled, though. Uh, big hits at Yankee Stadium are Homer's. Rebukes. Uh, it chastises. Um, hmm. So, squats or crouches. Uh, censures is rebukes. Uh, Andean gazers are llamas. Uh, Three-time WNBP... Leslie, WNBA MVP, Leslie, no clue. First king of Israel is Saul. Let's say cross here then. Uh, the fates. Oh, the fates instead of just fates. Good. Um, is it Leslie? I don't know. Uh, leading to athlete or angle, triangle. Lisa, I guess. Creed actress Thompson. Oh, crossing names. So Lisa and Tessa is plausible. Aroma of rising bread is yeasty. And with that, we have finished a second crossword puzzle today. We can cross another one off the list. Now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six more <laughs> to catch up on. Six more. We're getting so close. <laughs> you can watch that all day, crossword puzzle, puzzle solving. Uh, on April 1st, you will see that. April 1st, see nothing but crosswords the whole time. And yeah, it's going well. It's going well, though. All right, let's go ahead and do another half hour, 40 minutes of, of stream today. Uh, play a little bit more game, and then we'll uh, go do some grading, I suppose. All right, lack of joy is sad. Uh, somebody wanted to go gather in particular, they said. But I guess we already got the achievement for merely, um, for merely having the folks. Or having the building, rather. How am I so good at crosswords? I don't know. A lot of practice and I like words a whole bunch and that really is the long and short of it. I just really like words a lot it's a kind of intelligence I have I suppose that's not useful in anything else <laughs> but I love them so much all right build me my golden bed build me one more fabric so fabric is slow to make I'm not gonna stand and watch her but I kind of want to stand and watch her okay remove this thing over Let's see if I can make the training camp next. Uh, not repair. Let's 
instead we want to Qkey destroy. Watch thread never weave. I'm afraid you might be right. Your queen is just curious. That's all she wants is to have a nice, nice bed. Let's, let's do military you to there. And I guess while we're waiting, we can go ahead and um, build more blocks across. Oops. Prepare you. Right now I'm starting to think a little bit about should this be a game we play for multiple days or should this be a one and done kind of game? I'm largely cool either way, though I am curious what you all think. Is one you'd like to see over and over again or is one you want to uh, instead just see the once and then on to a crunchy game soon? I check out Connections Game Online. Yeah, so Noms I do Connections every night on Nick Griffin. We do Connections and then the crossword together. And they're both a lot of fun, but yeah, Connections is a good game, uh, especially how clever some of them are. You know, they have one obvious commonality that ends up not being the correct commonality. But do you do Wordle too? I don't do Wordle. I used to do Wordle and I got very angry with that <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, uh, Wordle occasionally has moments of, um, yeah, occasionally has moments where there's no obvious way to have the correct answer. Like, you'll find a word, or you'll find the, like, ending of a word, and, um, it'll be not clear how you guess what the beginning is. It's like the word, um, what are two words of this kind? Um, it's really hard to come up with one, unfortunately. Like, legs and pegs. If you have the EGS part right, there's no way to tell is it legs or is it pegs. And it's like, okay, just randomly guess now. And I really dislike that a lot. Quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Hey, Flemmy, thanks for the reso. I appreciate that. Super curious. Thank you. Um, someone uh, not would like to see the game again soon. Several of players, curious how, how um, far it goes. Yeah. I'm curious how far the game goes also. Will it get challenging? Especially hard. Uh, right now, other than make sure we don't all starve, there's not been a lot of difficulty. But cozy games are kind of fun. The way in which you then win Wordle is by determining the frequency. So the problem is there's no guarantee that the uh, developer of Wordle has chosen the um, element with the highest frequency. Because it does pick a word. And so even if L is more common than P, so legs is more common than pegs, there's no guarantee that the devs have said, ah, we're going to use the most common of words. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of of Wordle. It's a fine game if you enjoy it, no worries. It's just, it's outcome bothers me in a way that most other games don't bother me. Uh, you like a game called Redactyl? It's guessing, guessing based on a censored Wikipedia page. Wait, when you say censored, do you mean you have to like guess what word fits into the Wikipedia line? Huh. That's a really cool idea, if so. Is the word to philosophy always? You also like Pimantle or Pimantle? Wait, how many games are there? <laughs> it's truly upsetting how many games exist right now. <laughs> I can spend all day just playing games. I mean, not that I'm doing that right now, but do I Scrabble? Oh, see, I have a love-hate relationship with Scrabble. Look, I'm the queen of the world! I have a love-hate relationship with Scrabble because on the one hand, I like words so, so, so much. The problem, though, is I played the game as I like words so, so much, as opposed to um, I want to play the most strategically correct word here. I'll play the word that gets me, you know, maximum points and locks down for everybody else. So that's where I'm a little bit uh, you know, less on board, perhaps, with that I should be. I do enjoy watching competitive Scrabble, though. Uh, the people who play at the highest level are so good. They always find the perfect word in the perfect place, etc. So, it's going though. Could I build up even higher now? I probably could. I'd probably keep going up. Uh, next time we visit the top of the tree, we'll definitely do that. But I wanna go downstairs and build whatever I said I was gonna build next, namely the bed. Because all I wanna do is get enough health, health rather, to fight off the uh, horde to the right. 
There's a game called Octoertle. <laughs> Octoertle. It's eight wordles at the same time, and so the process is more deterministic. Why eight at the same time? No, but really, why? <laughs> That's amazing. I can definitely look into all these. Maybe on April 1st, instead of doing all and only the crossword, which I think is delightful, uh, we should try all these different word games, all these different games y'all like, and just experience some weird word worlds. Weed, with a weird word games, rather. Weird word, 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 word. Behold the queen's bed. Someone construct that, please and thank you. Uh, and then, behold the training camp. All right. Yeah, I guess we can also try to play, uh, what's it called? Uh, GeoGuessr, which is a game that I've not played that much of. Um, I always watch the you know, the World Series, though, of people being able to guess where they are in the world with, like, 25 meters based on one tiny image. I'll definitely not be able to do that, but hopefully we'll enjoy merely experiencing um, you know, the kind of game one could play with Google Images. But I recognize it's kind of old hat by now. Been there, done that for a lot of y'all. But it'd be fun to do for one day at least. We can play We're in Warcraft, the World of Warcraft geoguessing game. Wait, is there actually a World of Warcraft geoguessing game? Because if so, I mean, possibly sign me up. More enemies are coming. So if, if the World of Warcraft geoguessr game is like based primarily on what happened five or no probably like 10 years ago now i suspect i'd be able to do very very well in it if though it includes new areas i've not seen it seems very unlikely another storm so sometimes we a dark and stormy night at the same time we're attacked rough 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 uh the queen's bed has been made I need some rest, rest in the royal bed. Hey, health is filling. We found health. Nice. And the workers continue to labor. <laughs> hey, very good, very good, very good. Also, we're so close to level two, whatever that gives us. I don't know if this is the base level 2, or if this is uh, the Queen Ipsa get to level 2. Ah, looks good. Hey, uh, Blue, thank you for dropping the link in uh, Discord. I will definitely check out um, a GeoGuessr World of Warcraft game. Because my sense is that's the way I can get my World of Warcraft fixed without causing everyone to unfollow the channel. Okay, I shouldn't fight that thing while we're waiting for enemies to come. I'll help with the cleaning while we're waiting. How do we get gold in this game? We haven't seen a way to get gold yet. We started with 10,000 gold, and now it's getting somewhat lower. Hey! So because there's a hole in the tree, the water flows down so beautifully. Okay, I want to dig a bucket if I can. I'm sorry, beautiful tree. You deserve better than this. But if an area that's collectible with water, it'd be so cool. Yeah, so we started with 10,000 gold, and I want to see if eventually we get um, more somehow. Right, for next storm, we'll see how that goes. Someone got hurt. I must do something. Oh, no. So hopefully my uh, my friends here are fighting back fiercely instead of really standing and watching. The city's under attack. I think I'm trying to eat my um, barricade. Or maybe just like standing by their magic hole in the ground. I wish the tutorial had mentioned you can kite enemies. Because I definitely believe we were just locked in place the whole time. <laughs> Alright. 
Everything's on fire. They're breaking my presence. So no one fights back. Absolutely no one fights back. I probably need hospital beds now. The enemy's been dealt with. I believe they might heal up using their normal beds also. Yeah, I think that the uh, building we're building downstairs for um, training troops will be the way to make some of them fight at least. But we'll see. Uh, we need a little more dirt. We have that right here. More dirt needed. Your dirt. I hope it, this lets us make actual warriors. Now, I wonder if they're becoming warriors, make them unavailable to do other tasks. I'm hoping just to train them up and then they'll run around and do other work too. Is Alto the one that sleeps on the ground? That's a good question. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm missing uh, a better two. Now, I wonder if characters' beds can be destroyed entirely, or if it's never made additional beds. If so, whoops. <laughs> I know one wants to sleep on the ground, so we have one more made. And then and then. Gotta... Prosperity of level two. We are now a hamlet. The city is booming. Booming, we say, with prosperity. New blueprint unlocked called the Code Stone. New policies capacity from one to two. H how do I make policies? We have up to 40 people and our migrants are at a higher level possibly. Wow. The city is starting to prosper. There may be incidents happening among the citizens from now on. <laughs> Wait, why? As more Radisons gather, the need of policies to rule them grows. Well, total freedom is an option too, but building a code stone legalized policy might be a better choice. With the code stone, various policies can be set to rule the city easier, so please try using it. All right. These are going to be the um, rules handled down or handed down from on high. Among the military structures, training facilities train Radisons to become soldiers. Train soldiers defeat invading enemies. When Radisons are assigned to a training structure, they'll need some time to be properly trained. If the time was not enough, they'll not join the battle soldiers, so spare enough time. Soldiers get paid every day automatically, so consider it wisely when they're recruited. As uh, so they can become soldiers, and then they can um, do other work too. So which among you wants to be a fighter? Yeah, the militants want to be fighters. So Colin the farmer, Hana the hilarious, and that's all. All right, so Colin has the highest strength right now. So Colin, you learn to fight, please. He gets 150 money possibly per day as a soldier. It's so it's absolutely insane. I want to go finish out fighting on the far left side. Also, we now have no farmer. All right, just finish this thing. Cool. So the enemy seem not drop anything. I wonder if the Den of Plagues does drop stuff. Again, these are incredibly weak. I can run in and beat them. Also a bunny, how exciting. Man, now it's every single time I hit one at all. My sword range is I'm not exactly great at yet. Will it spawn a boss? It does not, and it just disappears. I have absolutely no idea what that does then. 
Uh, super curious if it's a way to uh, cause enemies to attack farther away or what exactly. I'm making a couple ladders real quick and then we will create ye the code stone. I keep wanting to say that code stone creamery. There is a joke that only about half of you will get. Sorry, non-Americans. Actually, is that a thing that's uh, available to uh, non-Americans do? I don't know. All right, the code stone, a huge stone to announce new laws. All the laws as tax, commercial, and welfare can be set. We make just one of these. Holy cow, you're huge. I plan to put it up by the uh, the entrance so everyone can see where it is immediately. You have expensive cold stone in Canada. I'm sorry to hear that. I think it's pricey in the US also, but... Yeah. All right, Colin, are you training still? All right, Colin's in there beating the dickens out of this thing. It's gonna take a while. That's fine, though. I have a new bed that needs assignments. I should probably just remake this to look a little prettier also. Cold Zone's in 32 countries? Wow. If you don't know what Cold Zone is, it's a absolutely delightful, very strange little place that uh, you get ice cream uh, that they put onto a eponymous cold stone and then use these two paddles to mix over, mix over, mix over. And then they're able to... Um, like mix in other treats and so on. The code stone should go to the top of the tree. Ladario, number one, it's good seeing you. Number two, you're an absolute genius. Now, if there's any way that the law, uh, law stone gets destroyed at the top, we'd be very, very sad. But can you imagine if this works out? Also, we're gonna try to help out with the, um, the filling the water bucket thing. There is cold stone in Japan. Huh, I had no idea. I need grass again. All the grass at the very top, of course. Uh, so I'm going to dig out this one aloud, too. You were in Tokyo when they first opened Cold Stone. The line was two hours long. Man, if there's one thing the Japanese like, it is a good queue of people. Like, they will line up incredibly long distances for... I what seems to be like very uninteresting and small um, pleasures, but they'll wait in line for a very, very long time. Uh, most recently I saw this with a, um, is it a pumpkin themed restaurant? Yeah, a pumpkin themed restaurant during the beginning of, of autumn. Oh, the grass actually had to, be, had to be in the box to be used it. Cannot put my hands. It can be used now. Yeah, the pumpkin theme restaurant though had probably had a line of about 50 people for a store that had seven seats inside. Seven seats is all crazy. Hey, Jackal or Jake L, how do you say your name? Just tell me once, I'll know forever. Uh, but Jake L, Jackal, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the subscription for sure. All you nice subscribers today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's just Jake. All right, just Jake. I will say just Jake from right now. Thank you for teaching me that one. <laughs> But, hey, awesome. This game seems really cool, but it seems weird that for a game inspired by Oni, the UI is worse. Yeah, I mean, I think it is inspired by Oni. I think that's true. Uh, it's definitely a different kind of game than Oni in that it seems much more based on building. Of course, you're also going to be attacked, which is not true in Oni. Um, yeah, I think it's a much cozier game than actually not included, in my view. Behold! The stone. <laughs> I will wait here until the laborers come and construct it. Yeah, the UI is definitely different. Like, it's taking me some work to remember which buttons to push in which order to build. And I'm getting better at it now, though. But yeah, definitely for the first, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, I was consistently thinking, oh, man, where are the Oni keys? But yeah, it doesn't seem terrible. Um, the game is just recently released. I'll be curious to see like, if it gets a good amount of attention, if people buy the game. I'll be curious to see if it um, does get some overhaul with better inputs and so on. I think the inputs in the, in the um, you know, sort of base game, the, um, what's it called? Uh, Retropolis are pretty effective. I don't recall any you know, awkwardness with the uh, putting commands in on that game. Hello, Alto! 
You only carried three up here. Oh, Alto. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess while we're waiting, we can work on putting down additional uh, additional ladders on this side. And someday we'll see what's on the other side of this thing. Okay, here is the edge. We have no, uh, no grass. All right, all right. It's about to storm again. I want to see if my giant bucket uh, fills up correctly. Right, I'm kind of planning to dig out uh, one of the branch areas. And that way we can see when someone runs up to help out. The UI might be made for a controller. Hey, that's a good point. It definitely when we started playing, um, the game mentioned a controller right away. And I'm, I'm not minding keyboard, mouse and all, but I do wonder how differently the game plays with controller. And I still don't have one, unfortunately. Ah, there also goes. Good man. I haven't bought a controller yet here. I had an Xbox 360 controller back in the US I like so very, very much. And I do kind of wonder if I got a new one, how would it go? Uh, so we know that winter is coming at some point relatively soon. We got 66 food saved up, which does feel like quite a bit. But it may not be. Construction finished. Use F on the code stones to clarify some policies. So recall that the um, conservative characters do not want policy changes, where the progressive does want policy changes. So we'll see how happiness goes in a moment. Also, I wonder if I should banish all the conservatives while I change the policies and then bring them back when things are more stable. And the game invites a certain kind of thoughtful attitude. All right, I am the lawgiver. There are four kinds here. There are four kinds of tax laws. I can activate various types of policies. Tax the Radisons with tax laws. Hey, earlier someone asked how am I to make money? And, uh, yeah. Taxation is how you make money if you're the state. With commercial laws, you can encourage or prohibit Radisons to consume certain products or services. Using welfare laws allow you to relief the poor. Relief, I say. Or enrich the Radisons living standards. If you want to restrict the citizens when to work or rest, use labor laws. Oh my goodness, so many laws. Activated policies are applied at a specific time or day. Try to establish rightful laws and lead the city towards the ideal state. I love it. Hey, Dami, do I think the name of the game is too close to its predecessor? Absolutely, yes. I keep being confused that we're playing Retropolis Retopia. <laughs> like, I think it's good. I think it's good to have a brand that you can feel good about. Uh, and I think the devs are definitely the rat T-O thing. Ratopolis. <laughs> Ratopolis. We're playing Ratopolis now. <laughs> it is confusing, though, to have the two being very named similarly. All right. Holy cow. Okay, I see. I thought these were all different laws we can choose. But no, these are what kind of taxation do you want? The civil tax. Charge attack on Rassens every certain amount of time or charge tax on whoever uses structures, or charge tax on whoever consumes resources. So I know they get money when they build things. I know my warriors get paid money every single day also. I don't know if everyone has money then. I want a wealth tax, so it helps so much more. <laughs> for what I'm going for right now. Uh, other possibilities are the commercial law. So we can determine what the price is for resources. I don't know. What do people use? So if I, if I make them pay for meat, I suppose then they'll stay on grain unless they're rich. How do I modify the price here? It's stuck at 20. Oh, you modify it down here. All right, we're gonna try to modify the meat. I'm gonna say it costs eight monies. 
We'll call it the measure of meat. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we have our first policy. We'll see how that goes. Right, welfare law then. So subsidies go to people of different classes. Allow them to have meat occasionally, possibly. And lastly, the labor law. So different schedules for the day. I don't know how to think about that right now. It's probably a way to make sure they don't overload the bathroom. Add a law, uh, auction not included. For now, uh, if you're someone of the poor class, I'm gonna say this is the um, gold for stability law, good. So either periodic subsidy or consumption subsidy. The support when purchasing resources. So if someone wants to buy meat, they pay four instead of five. Oh, the tax said classes also. Plaza, thanks for noticing that. So I don't quite know how classes work right now. I think it said based on wealth they have as, what, as well as what they're carrying. I wish I had a clearer sense of how the classes break apart. We'll learn eventually, I'm sure. All right, one money regularly. Once a day, poor folks get one money. Every five days, they can buy some fancy food. Ah, uh, we got two policies. See how it goes. <laughs> Almost sneezed into your ear. I apologize. Very good. Very good. What should we name our code stone? I mean, cold stone feels right, given what we talked about. But uh, it's been all like rats and law. Um, we call it the, the Rationing Stone. Uh, we can call it something involving cheese or traps. Mm -hmm. Call it Cody McCodeface. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Cream, oh good lord. Creamerarium? <laughs> uh, I know what to do. We're gonna do the Rational rationing. I bet that's actually uh, the, the same kind of of word. Yeah, it's, it's the same, same uh, root as ratio and um, rata and so on. Called a better code for the better mousetrap. I do like that. I do like that very much. We're going to go with that. Law of rat traction. The ratetta stone. All very good. All very good. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay. What comes next then? Our money is burning out very, very quickly um, compared to where it was before. We'll keep an eye on that. We're trying to hire more folks. Also, we have a whole bunch of uh, research points now. Okay, so we did get some water inside the water bucket there. Not a huge amount. I wonder if having exposed to the sky entirely is better than hiding inside the tree. <laughs> I'm comfortable saying that's probably the case. We should not have put it in the tree like that, but... Eh. As long as we get some water coming in, we're okay. Is Colin all trained up now? He is not. I see we have uh, no ability to make more food right now. Someone needs, needs to kill the bunnies. You know, we make a hunter camp eventually if we want to, but for now, giving bunnies to work would be good. Okay. Huh. I should check and see if the uh, bunnies are not being processed correctly. I'm fairly sure we had a job for them for a while. Now, maybe the bunnies... But the bunny uh, machine can't find the bunnies that are up on the first floor there. Let's see what effective zone is. Yes, bunnies become five meat. All production facilities can be set to produce items according to conditions by setting task conditions. Oh boy, it's RimWorld. Uh, it's probably going to be, you know, build when X is available. We can also get things and sell things. Please enable working conditions through the building settings as needed. Select the production resources. This feature can be enabled globally through the game options. Say where to get it from exactly. 
and where we sell it to. For right now, it's doing nearest storage. Okay. And Alto has meat again. Good man. Okay. Hana endlessly crying in the rain. Uh, what are the other things that I have researched or want to research? Oh, this one's injured. The so Medi Betty could be good. That's right. The Medi Betty. That's what it's called. Here, so let's find berries. I think that's what I was going to do before. I was going to head out and attempt to um, see if I can find berries to the east now that we've cleared that one location. Sorry, refugees. And I do wonder if, like, um, what's it called? If, like, Terraria will find special items as we go. I'd be in building mode to build the ladder here. It's like only with Terraria. Yeah, I mean, that feels like a fair description. I've been playing it for a little enough time that I don't exactly know what it feels like, but only in Terraria together, I think, is a, a fair way to talk about it. Enemies are coming again. Also, why is gathering not working? Okay, when he was on the way to gather, I just got a little bit antsy in my pantsy about it. I know we dug out a bunch of grass upstairs. Oh, you know what I should do? I keep thinking I can assign people to do jobs. I don't have to personally go do everything. Maybe I should assign people upstairs to just get a whole bunch of grass. Insert your own uh, references to grass here. Okay, there is quite a bit already dug out. Just need to get carried down. Oh, my weaver's probably using all the grass for fabric. That's a very good point, Ladadio. Makes a lot of sense. Let me go ahead and uh, ask him to stop that. Set up some if available job. Oops. All right, down we go. Time for fighting in a moment. I do wonder how much longer until a season change. Is it every 10 days, maybe? All right, so stop the looms, loomer first, if possible. Hello, Cider. What's up, lawyer dude? I mean, close enough. How's it going? Good having you here. All right, so show me conditionality. Task condition. I see I can turn it on or off. I was thinking the condition would be how I'd be able to say only do this when you don't have whatever. Now says something is possible in the options. What's capture mode? Ah, way to take a video possibly? Not sure. Hmm. Okay, am I right in thinking that the complexity on this is not what I thought it would be? So right now we can just turn it off, I guess. Oh, here we go. We found it. We found it. Okay. Add condition. Here we go. Okay. So... Quantity check is probably what I want. Or make we have enough grass. No, no, quantity check. So produce, if we have fewer than, we'll say, 10. Haha! -ha. We found it. We found it. We reactivate. Conditions activated. She stops. We did it! So we should have grass being saved now. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. 
Now, what else is infinitely consuming my things? Well, the sawmill I know is. And so I set up two jobs. So can I say make both of those? Awesome. So in Ray Lumber. Condition. Assign. There we go. So if we have less than, again, 10 seems good. Get to it. Okay, and then on the wooden sticks. Then produce if less than 10 again. I'm sure eventually we'll learn more of how it's done. That's great though. That's like Rimworld and we love it so much. Ah, <sighs> The game feels comfortable now in a way it didn't a moment ago. Cool. I do wonder where else is being consumed excessively, but very cool to see. And now we should have grass availability to build our little ladder up. I saw we can build ropes also. I'll be really curious to see how exactly those work. Um, why am I going to go up here anyway? Why don't we just dig straight through? I'll let it go up eventually, probably. For now, I can do this though. Whoops. Hey, Vera, how's the Monday going? Monday's going well. I'll need to. Uh, Go get ready for teaching in just about, I don't know, about 10 minutes here. Hello, enemies. Uh, these ones blast but blast, so they're kind of weak. Oh, there's quite a few there. Yeah, I don't know exactly a way to um, kite these, other than breaking line of sight. Also, my poor uh, rabbit hole here is dying. May I repair the rabbit hole? I doubt it. Nope, fortunately not. When it's destroyed, it's destroyed. Now we have one person who's actively um, being trained to fight. The invasion's over, so I think they pulled it off. Colin, look, Colin's a club. So Colin's our first fighter. I believe he has paid 150 a day for that. We need a whole bunch of taxes to make up for that, but Colin fought, awesome. Nice. And then repair this thing. Great. Uh, we'll probably make some additional troops in a little bit. I would take some damage though, so time for a quick little nap. And then we'll go digging to the right again and see if we can find some berry bushes. Now, someone asked a bit ago, can we scroll down? We unfortunately can't. We can dig down and see what we find, which I don't mind doing. Uh, the only issue, though, is you have to dig down kind of slowly, because if you jump down a hole and keep digging, you'll end up being unable to save yourself. But I see there's spiders to the left there. Raising tax to pay an army feels familiar. I mean, David Graeber argues that is the origin of, of money, is the attempt to pay, uh, pay soldiers. Uh, speaking of not being able to get out, we got very close to it there. All right. Look at all that water. <gasps> okay. So what's in here? Other than scads of water to collect. And then possibly sludge or something. And then also some fish. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Are these special grass? It looks the same as other grasses. But for whatever reason, it's looking like it has fairy dust on it. Maybe I shouldn't just be digging it up so freely. <laughs> ah, let's get back to digging through here so we find. I think tomorrow when we come back to this game, I will try to dig down, down, down. And see what is down. Also, I am curious which, right down from here, like what is that sludgy looking stuff? Is it in fact, you know, sludge? Or is there something else to it? 
There's gonna be a Balrog down below. Don't you put that evil on me. Don't you dare put that evil on me. <laughs> All right, so. It's there. Get building then. Oops. Pick up, pick up. Change to this one. Build, build. Okay, grab some more grass then. Hmm. Okay, so we can't quite build down that far. That's out of range. So I'd build one in between instead. Reach stuff on the ground? No. So we grab two more grass. Luckily, we have that right here. No problems. I wonder if my starting storage is full. I expect we can have different kinds of storage if we want to. Uh, what is this? It's called mud. Is there a first mud ever recovered? And so we have one research point for a new item. Let's go see. I know in Oni you can get mud squeezers <laughs> that will allow you to have uh, additional water and dirt. This time though, mud gained me research points. Fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. This constant warning about someone needing joy, I do feel bad about. Uh, so no particular reason to be up here other than the presence of copper, which is surely a reason it's worth so checking out. I'll grab the ga uh, grass for it. So because food's so good at 81 now, I am considering bringing in another person. I think my one hesitance there is with winter coming. Uh, will it lead to a you know, tragedy of starvation? The hungry times for everyone. I'm going to mark the copper here and hope that our friends will dig it out. Can we get back out after that? Those of you who have played this game so far, how far into it have you gotten? Like, are we just barely scratching the surface? Or is the game, you know, roughly this forever noise? Regardless of it, it is just this, it is very adorable. But I do wonder, will there be like significantly harder boss battles? Will there be situations where things get really dicey really quickly? Or is it uh, a pretty cozy game? There's definitely the belief that not every builder needs to be you know, crazy hard, but I'm just curious what we're getting ourselves into. What I really hope is eventually we get a grappling hook, a la Terraria. Start flying around. Your queen is always ready to jump on you. Oh dear, we're drowning. <laughs> also, also, I saw a new building just a moment ago. Let's go look at it again. So straight to the bottom here. I can't see what it's called. I'm just kind of blocking it, sorry. Not wrong direction. Some kind of like spider hole possibly? Difficulty may ramp up his prestige levels up. That makes sense. So they just keep on building bigger and bigger. The city becomes more and more impressive. Eventually, they get pretty rocky for us. Fair enough. Fair enough. So what we should do tomorrow is attempt to just carefully and gradually build out more of the base buildings, get ourselves some more uh, characters, work on improving everything that way. So I know I want to have a log cutting folks here. I know I want to have a rabbit hunting folks here. A lot to do, a lot to do. But friends, as I mentioned, I got to end a little early today. So I'm going to get going in a moment here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some grading and then go teach as one does tomorrow. No teaching. So tomorrow possibly a longer than usual stream. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. Hope it was a good time for one and all. Let's go and save the game real quick. And then I should find someone to radio host real quick. I do not know if anyone else is playing this game, as it is one that I have not heard a ton about. I'm gonna go and pull up the old directory and see. It's called Retopia, I believe. Darp. 
All right. Hey, people are playing other than me. There's majority though. Oh wow, a lot of people are playing this game who are non-English. There are Japanese people. There are Korean people. Wait, what? What? <laughs> uh, I wonder if this game is natively um, not in English. And so it's just there are a ton of people playing it who are from the place who made it. Like, give me a second to pull this up because I'm very, very curious. Um, okay, one second here. I just want to show you the directory. It is definitely unexpected. Hey, look, chat, it's you. You chat. Yeah, so this is Ratopia. You know, top one here, um, that is that is Chinese. This one is Japanese. There's Resorty. Hello, Resorty. Yeah, is is anyone who speaks the Ego playing this? Watching VODs finishing last run. That seems a little bit strong. Holy cow. I may actually be the only person but this one who's playing in English. Top English speaking streamer, it's true. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Huh. Cool. In that case, I wonder if there are very few English language reviews on this one. And instead of grading, I should write a review over on Steam. Probably so. <laughs> uh, anyway, folks, hope you had a good day. Um, this person named Lars Fest. Uh, they've definitely rated us in the past. They're a pretty cool person. Hello, Lars. You're looking pretty big right now. I'm curious if you're uh, ending your stream. You've been live for 10 hours, Lars? 10 hours? No, 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 no. We're not reading into you then, my friend. Um, dang newbie. We like dang newbie a lot. Playing some Valheim for one hour and 13 minutes. Dang newbie's a good part of the community. A generous uh, subscriber, all the rest. Sort of ready host here. Uh, when you get over there, you know, kindly do offer the hello friend. Uh, give them some encouragement as they play their Valheim. Look how nicely organized this base is. As many of you know, my uh, my organization skills absolute trash in this game. Should be a good time. When you get there, give a hello friend, all the rest. It'll be nice, nice, nice. I'll be back tomorrow for more of this game right here in Japanese. Yes. Goodbye, goodbye.